Steelers. Saturday morning, December 3rd. Thoughts Count Anywhere coming to you live from the Gold Light Vegas Studios in the heart of Las Vegas, Nevada. Thank you for making us part of your Saturday. We are 28 days away from the close of this 2022 calendar year. Gentlemen, can you believe it? It's crazy. It flew by. Didn't it? Flies by when you have it. Extremely fast. Right? Thank you for watching, everybody. We appreciate it. If you need to... Go away from your screens, and you can download the Go Live Vegas mobile app. Take us on the go. Keep listening. Thank you to everybody on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Go Live Vegas, Go Live Vegas mobile app, and all the other platforms that Matt has us on. In addition to all of that, it's probably a shorter list of where we're not. We are on all of them. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> well, gentlemen, we are um, one week away from Good Morning Jennifer out in Hawaii. Good morning, good morning. We're By good, the way, I have... We're one week away from Good Morning Jennifer? Yeah, well, you know, it's like a TV show. <laughs> so I just created a new TV show. Um, you know, it's like I'm like the cat chasing the red yeah, light every once in a while. You are. So uh, notice, uh, conspicuous by his absence, we are missing one individual. First, of course, let's welcome... Bruno him. sucks. <laughs> Bruce, oh, God. We're going to have Bruno <laughs> sucks chants all day long. Mr. Thomas, how are you this morning? Doing well. How are you guys? I'm doing very well. Mr. Matt, what's going on in your world? Pretty good. Just yeah. tired, but it's, I'm here. You ready gotta, to rock. I was going to say, you're, you're probably going to be uh, gearing up for some crazy stuff down at Fremont. We got the rodeo in town, and New Year's coming up at the end of the month, of course. Some crazy stuff last night. Well, I can't wait for story time. But uh, you notice that Chief is not here today. <laughs> we want to wish him uh, a happy thoughts. He's just a little under the weather. And uh, he's at home. Um, um, I think he thinks he rules the roost, but we know who really does. <laughs> uh, so there you go. So we there, did you just show his empty seat? Is that what you did? So there you go, Chief. We, we're still thinking about you. Uh, by the way, the things you see on the front of the desk, we have some holiday decorations, but I swear that they're just mini ZZ top uh, performers uh, with their <laughs> long beards. Um, thank you to uh, Raquel for decorating the studio a little bit. However, we will not be on, we will not be outdone. Since Chief is not here, you know, usually we do a rant at the bottom of the hour. So literally within 90 <laughs> seconds of us going live, I said, well, we don't, I don't want to, you know, we don't want to take anything away from Chief's time. It's Chief's rant. So prior to that, I said to Thomas, I said, well, maybe you'll just fill in to do the rant. And Matt said, no, I got something better. And so we have a new segment, a replacement segment when Chief is not here. Let's put, let's do it. It's in the bullpen. Yeah. It's like break glass in case of emergency. Yeah. And uh, did you send the, the logo in yet? Yeah. Okay. So we, we will debut at the bottom of the hour a new segment called Thomas's Tantrum. And uh, so <laughs> we have a graphic all set for that at the bottom of the hour, which we hope you will enjoy as much as Matt did putting it together. <laughs> so anyway, last time we met was uh, right after Thanksgiving. So I hope you, you guys enjoyed the rest of the weekend last week. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Worked. Well, well there you go. You had to protect the floor from lighter fluid. Yeah. So, you know, we get that. Uh, I still seven, blame Matt for that. 702. You're welcome. 329 <laughs> uh, 855-502-4321. If you're outside the good old USA, uh, I don't know how many people, I don't know if we should jump the shark on it, but we know a lot of people usually tape events, sports and stuff. And uh, a lot of folks probably have recorded the World Cup um, so I want to try to stay away from giving any disclaimers, but let's just say I had a different hat I might prepared to wear this morning that said Team USA. Notice it's <coughs> not on my head. So, you know, you can take that for what it's worth. Uh, thank you, Jennifer. Uh, I know, he, I know uh, he also wants to feel better soon. Uh, maybe we'll hear from him if we do. I wouldn't be surprised, of course. Oh, I just see in the chat room that he is watching. So uh, unlike when Liz is in the room yeah. and he straightens up, Chief, you better be ready for a long ride for the next two <laughs> hours <laughs> because we got, well, I don't know if you missed the top, but we've already <laughs> shared the thoughts of what, you know, Matt thinks of Mr. Bruno. But uh, anyway, we got birthday. I can't wait to share what MJF said about. Oh, my goodness. Bruno. <laughs> did he? Oh, did he say? I was uh, waiting. Did he say it Wednesday? Yeah, he did. Oh, OK. I missed that part. I only, saw, uh, I only I missed that part of his uh, promo. But a lot going on in the world of pro wrestling. We have a guest coming up in the second hour to talk about her upcoming match next Friday, UW3. This Friday now. 
Yeah, a week from yesterday. This we is are upcoming. six days Holy away. Holy crap. Chief chimes in already. <laughs> Chief says, Bruno rules, and he spelled rules quite nicely. R-U-L-Z. He's getting with the times. Ooh. Although I wonder Ooh. if Liz helped him with that. That's uh, <laughs> Love you, Chief. <laughs> he's he's going to be taking notes to get back at us next week. Um, but yeah, I can't Sell believe Sell him get hit with a Kindle stick on Friday night. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe it's less than a week away already. Six uh, days. Good morning, Ronald. Six days. So we're getting close. Alice Blair will be here to join us in the second hour. Uh, she's part Giggity. of the triple threat, yeah? Yep. So, she yeah. Is? so we'll go over the matches in a little bit, too. Um, you have the match sheet under your paper. I do, there. but I just haven't. Just because it's there doesn't mean I looked at Got to give our official predictions. Yeah, we do, don't we? We All do, right. yeah. So, so, Chief, since you're watching, when we get to that point of asking for predictions, feel free to put your prediction and uh, drop them into the chat. And uh, we'll take note of him as well. Since Chief isn't here for you, dub dub three. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, Brandy. Uh, good morning, Richard. No, no, we have donuts in here, just not Krispy Kremes, unfortunately. On my way to the studio, I do not have a Krispy Kreme. I thought about going to Randy's Donuts, the the new place there. Oh yeah, but I didn't leave enough time this morning to go there. We got them from some place minus the lighter fluid. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Notice the fact, though, that that individual is not even eating one of his own store's donuts, though. I That's usually eat terrifying. after the show. Oh, you eat after the show? Yeah. It's terrifying. That's my terror. <laughs> oh, my goodness. If, if I didn't bring him in. Just a Aaron disclaimer. Did. If me and Aaron start to feel sick in the middle of this show and Thomas starts laughing, Good luck, call Thomas. the proper authorities, <laughs> please. <laughs> That's right. Chief, you better hurry up and get here if you see us drop off. Let's put it that way. But uh, and, and I take over. Oh, God. Help us all. Is that his evil plan? Is that why he's <laughs> giggling nonstop That's this right. whole show? It is, Oh, yes. great. Oh, you have, been a for, you have been officially you dubbed up three approved by Chief, according nice. to the chat room. So. You dubbed up three. So that means it's, <laughs> that's on you then today. I've been pushed down the line one more notch further, which is totally yep. cool. All right. Good stuff. We got a lot to go today. 702-329-6947. Shout out to TRC, Top Rope Collectibles, William Hudson, Ben Bowman, Kevin Buckler, and the entire crew. For those who don't recall, real quickly, and then we'll go to story time with Matt. Right in front of us here, uh, in front of the table, is the Thoughts Count Anywhere poster, which approximately over the last, we'll say, seven or eight months, those who have appeared here in town from, from uh, UW, uh, UWW events, and then some, by that I mean like Rick Up Church and mm -hmm. other local uh, uh, celebrities and stuff, uh, have been gracious enough to sign the poster. Uh, with the thoughts that we would raise money and donate it to, um, we'll just might as well say it, the Avery uh, Burton Foundation, which is a mental illness slash wellness and suicide prevention resource center. Those folks will be back on the air with me on Aaron's Hour later today to talk to uh, that audience about it. Anyway, the seven administrators at TRC stepped up and have sweetened the pot, so to speak, yeah. um, with their own signed memorabilia, guys. And it's a hell of a package. It is. Uh, I reshared it on my wall. We have the link. I think maybe Aaron may still have the link from last, uh, from the other night when we used it on uh, the roundtable. Uh, so we want to give everybody a shout out. So how did it work? 25 raffle slots at $20 a piece. Yep. Mm -hmm. As of a post I saw from Will late last night, I saw it this morning. There are like only five spots left, four or five, somewhere around there. And that's it. So that means if that slate is filled... Before next Saturday's show and all the raffle spots are sold. Guys, I see no reason. There you go. There's a, there's a link of it right there. Some of the pictures and items. Uh, signed, certificate of auth authenticities and such. So you can see that there on the Top Rope Collectibles page. Although, to see it on the page, you have to become a member. But they were kind enough to share the uh, link with me. So if, we, if the rest of the spots sell out before next Saturday's show, even though we may get some additional signatures, which, listen, folks, there, there's, they've made it public. Who did made a public? You what? What's that company called? You You Dub Dub. Th thank Three. you. <laughs> <laughs> so let's say it this way. At where? You Dub Dub. Three. <laughs> <laughs> we hope to add two more signatures to the poster. It made it was announced last week. Uh, Kevin Sullivan. Tremendous mm -hmm. history yeah. in wrestling. He's gonna be there. And uh, we interviewed Tessa a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And uh, she's assured us that she, too, will also sign the poster when we see her next. Oh, down to three spots. Thank you, Chief. Nice. Three spots left, folks. 20 bucks each. 100% um, of those proceeds are coming to our cause to donate to the Avery Burton Foundation. Nice. So here's what I see then. We'll set it up then to announce the winner on next Saturday's show. I'm hoping Will, William will call in by the end of the show. We'll announce it next week. And then the following Saturday, the 17th, We'll have the Burton folks come back in. Um, I've asked the guys from, uh, from uh, the roundtable to join us as well since all nice. of that carried there. 
and make the official uh, donation presentation on the air on the 17th. Awesome. How's Sweet. that sound? Sounds going to be awesome. All right. We're excited about it. So check it out. Three spots left. Now, just because the spots are completed and you still want to make a donation financially to help the cause, listen, we'll take that as well. We'll add it to the pot mm -hmm. for the 17th. You can, reach out to, uh, you can reach out to me if you'd like uh, through my Facebook page, Aaron Phillips, of course, through the Thoughts Count Anywhere page, uh, info at um, Thoughts Count Anywhere. Thoughts Count Anywhere. Thank you. I never email myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> I do. I got too many email addresses. And if you are interested in making a financial donation to support the Avery Burton Foundation to add it to our pot, uh, let me know. Because our, our ultimate goal, and Chief was, was very adamant about this, and I agree with him, we gave away, what, $1,300 last year to uh, the Nevada uh, Coalition, wants, right? He wants one more dollar. One more dollar, year. which means 1301 Now, with $20 at 25 spots, what's that, 500, 500 bucks? bucks? So that's and, and Will and I talked about just doubling the 500 we already had. So that goal is complete, but it's not finished because we want to get another $301 mm -hmm. donated so we can give them that kind of number. But... Regardless, whatever what's going on right now, we are greatly appreciated. Okay, with that, you know you have to take over Chief's job here. Yeah. It is now time for Story Time with Matt. Don't spit over the microphone. It is now story <laughs> time with the enforcer, <laughs> Matt Ball. My story time is real. There wasn't really anything too crazy this week for some reason. It's been too cold for like most of the bums to do anything real psychotic this week. But last night I was working at Heart Attack Grill and they had first Friday. So there's always a ton of Metro, Marshalls, the whole shebang out there. And this one guy thought it would be a great idea to fight with the cops. Because that's a, always a great idea. First he got slammed into our windows and then... It took like seven or eight cops to like get this guy in custody, but it took like a good ten minutes too. It was <laughs> it was funny to watch. And so he was just doing what? Just bouncing around being crazy? He was just being crazy and then I guess like he saw the cops so he threw his drink into the garbage can real quick and he threw the drugs on the floor and one of the cops saw it. Uh, uh, and it was on. Oh my goodness <laughs> gracious. Wow. Now, do you see a rise in that sort of stuff over the holiday weekends kind of stuff? Like last weekend was Thanksgiving weekend. Do you see an increase of activity like that out there? No, not no? really. Stays pretty normal. Now, I got to imagine with the upcoming weeks for New Year's and th the New Year's celebrations downtown and everything. Again, does it get any height? Is there more craziness from some of the local <laughs> folks that give you a hassle all the time down there? Or? Usually like the busier weekends, there's a lot more cops down there. Oh, so okay. usually like the more presence of cops, the less. Gotcha likelihood of something stupid happening but people are stupid and it still happens so <laughs> good morning chris and thank you for tuning in yeah well that makes sense you know more of a cop's presence uh certainly makes sense that it would cool things off a little bit but yeah. like you said people still stupid be tested it is right? a stupid does. there you go mm -hmm. duct tape doesn't fix stupid no nope. just muffles the sound <laughs> all right before we go to break let's hit some of these rumor topics what do you think Certainly. Okay. Rumor is WWE wants to do a pitch black match at the Royal Rumble. What, are they going to turn out the lights in the entire arena? Probably. That's what I was wondering. I was like, how are you going to film it? <laughs> how you gonna, right. How are you going to show it? What the hell? Unless they put little GoPro lights yeah, on their heads or something. Go, I mean, yeah, that's what they would do. Do you imagine being like the audience of the Royal Rumble and you pay like $1,000 <laughs> for a ticket? And they're like, oh, yeah, by the way, we're turning all the lights off for this match. <laughs> hey, what the hell? It'll be a Good little luck. Yeah, it'll be a literally lights out match. Yeah. If it is a Bray Wyatt match, a lot of fans do have the, the like they lines. turn their camera lights on. Yeah. And those things are bright enough that if like 50,000 people all turn them on, it might light it enough to see it. But well, that I'm kind of curious yeah. to see what's going to happen. Yeah, but even if, if 50, 60,000 people, wherever it's going, I don't even know where it's going to be. Where is, where is it going to be held? San Somewhere Antonio. The Alamo Dome, I believe. Okay. So even at tens of thousands of people. Okay, you're so far away from the ring, even if they all light up their phones, really can't reach the ring, can it? To, to really, mm. I mean, it might brighten up the seating area, but I don't know how that would really work to brighten up the, the ring area. I mean, what did they, they had hell in the, well, hell in the cell, I guess, if you want to call it, when they did the red match, right? Between yeah. Seth the red and, lighting, yeah. Right? They, they did that. the red light stuff, yeah. and that sucked. Nobody really liked it. No. 
Uh, but a blackout match. Man, I, I can't wait to get more details on that, right? Yeah, if it happens. Plus, we're also supposed to be doing something um, um, Hell in a Cell match at Royal Rumble. Did I hear? Or something? Be- between who? Well, no, no. They're, they're thinking about adding it just a single. Instead of doing a full pay-per-view of Hell in a Cell. Yeah, but Cell, who would be the. They didn't announce her. They're just, they're but what did you hear, about. though? Like, just her, like, That's just they're bringing back Hell in a Cell. They're considering it. They haven't announced anybody. Look, I don't know everything. You're the freaking historian for crying out loud. Usually, Keyword historian. <laughs> it wasn't announced that they're doing a Hell in a Cell match in 1982. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. On a Saturday night main event that he'll <laughs> randomly uh, know about. I forgot, that. I forgot all about that. I was in diapers. <laughs> uh <laughs> You still are. Anyway, <laughs> rumor is, <laughs> when you see the picture, you'll understand why for our new segment. Uh, rumor is the angle on Dynamite was to write William Regal out of AEW, as rumors have it that he'll be returning to WWE soon in a backstage role. Um, his contract is till March, I think I read online. Um, it only makes sense that they would take that direction. And with the way Triple H is hiring everybody back mm-hmm. that was associated, um, I, that was my first thought when I saw the clip. Yeah, he'll be back in WWE soon. Probably working NXT again and mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. They'll like buy him out or something. As soon as he hit the ground, and I was like, eh, we're going to get the proper War Games announcement next year. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, Jennifer put uh, in the chat room, she says she likes to watch live streams from Fremont Street. She says she's starting to recognize some of the bums. <laughs> it's uh, good viewing, apparently, I guess. I don't know. Um, last rumor before we go to break. I wonder if she gave them names yet. <laughs> yeah, let us know if you've named them, Jennifer. Usually rumor, asshole one, asshole, asshole two, <laughs> asshole three. Like Dr. Seuss, right? Thing one, thing two. Yeah. That's, that's good. There you go. Dr. Mullen, asshole one, asshole two. <laughs> rumor is WWE is going to hold a grand live event in India at the beginning of the year. That'd be good. I mean, get international talent and everything. Well, they've get been trying to get into the India market for a while, right? Yeah, it started with Greg Khali, and we saw how that turned out. And also, uh, what's it? When Jinder Mahal was, was uh, champ, they yeah, sent the him over there as well to, to help promote. Mr. Right? Canadian. Mr. Canadian. <laughs> I saw somebody make like a fake poster. It was Roman Reigns versus Jinder Mahal in a Pajambi prison match. <laughs> I, I saw that. That would not go well. No, not at Chief, all. Chief is stirring the pot. Question why, question, why lose or loose a great mind like Regal? Tony Khan doing stupid things. That's all we can chuck it up to. Oh, the live streamers have named them. <laughs> the bumps. <laughs> um, well, uh, yeah, Tony Khan is so in control of everything over there, in my opinion. And, and you he have controls to get, everything. Right, he controls everything, but as a backstage presence, Okay. You have a Jericho, right? You have a Moxley. You have that kind of... Now, they're help, they're, they're not, they can't do what Regal can do. In, I mean, they can, but Regal's got so much more experience with the psychology mm-hmm. of wrestling yeah. that um, I think that's worth its, its price of admission all unto itself. Oh, it frankly. would be. Um, but Tony Khan is not very smart, as well, we have noted That's a huge times. loss for AEW. Absolutely. It's a big loss. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, I saw ratings numbers from Wednesday night being being announced, mm-hmm. and the show actually dipped from the week before. Oh, so yeah. it, you keep, know. it keeps dropping from hour one to hour three, especially with the elite. Yes, and it's been doing this since the summer when the trio tournament started. Absolutely. Good morning, William. We Good morning, appreciate Will. you checking in. All right, we're going to step aside for our first break of the show. <clears throat> Got to catch our breath since Chief's not here. We're not used to going right through. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, love you, Chief. Anyway, you're watching Thoughts Cut Anywhere. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more right after this. This is the story of one man's incredible journey from 350 to 200 pound weight loss and his mission to help and inspire others. Aaron Phillips. (laughs) People are praising Aaron's new book with five star reviews. Aaron's various humorous and wildly entertaining stories portray his rise as a sports announcer his encounters with exotic and irregular entertainers on the Las Vegas Strip through his long-running Vegas Unwrapped radio show and his contagious and positive style of pursuing success. Call now or visit our website or Amazon now to get your copy of Let My Voice Speak to You, stories from a Hall of Fame radio personality. Order now. Robert Rude had Nick. Nine times two. It's Tessa Blanchard and Ozzy, and you're watching Thoughts Count Anywhere. What's up, man? It's your boy, Sepp Fatu. I'm here with my man, Big Chief. 
I need you to check out the podcast, Thoughts Count Anyone. This is the essential character EC3 on behalf of my dear friends at Thoughts Count Anyone. The podcast for your mind when you need deep thinking about all things sports and entertainment. Hello, this is Martin Casals, aka Marty the Mob, and you're watching Thoughts Count Anywhere podcast. Enjoy! <laughs> This is Impact Wrestling's Dash and Chris Bay, the ultimate finesse, former finesse division champion, and you're listening to Thoughts Count Anywhere podcast. Thoughts Count Anywhere. Y'all watching it. This is my new tag team partner, Steve-O, a.k.a. Zoo, from the hit movie Friday, and from No Holds Bar. Hi, I'm Sean Tavari. Listen to Thoughts Count Anywhere for all your wrestling news. Hey, what's going on? This is Axe, and I'm smashing the demolition. And we want to invite you to watch every Saturday morning. Thoughts count. Go Live Vegas Studios, a unique multi camera social media virtual content creator's paradise. We offer high end services using live streaming and film production for your personal or corporate, commercial or event, and campaign needs. Pre record or live stream to your audience on multiple social media platforms simultaneously. Fun and interactive with social media comments, phone lines, live remotes, audio foley sounds, and Snapchat filters. Be creative, get recognized, and and make money. We help you by providing an all in house production team. Visit our website at golive.vegas. All right, welcome back to Thoughts Count Anywhere. Coming to you live from Go Live Vegas in the heart of Las Vegas. Listen, while we're on break, uh, Mr. Historian, uh, you found a clip, or we found a clip that we are getting ready to prepare. So um, we thought it was pretty, pretty interesting. Now you can bring his mic up. <laughs> Come on, we had to make up for the extra yeah, time it yeah. was on by keeping it off. Um, so the clip, though. The very interesting clip. Very interesting clip. Um, should we put a disclaimer on it? We should, yes. Chief, you may, hopefully you're sitting down on this. So, uh, Mr. Producer, if you'd please play the following clip. Bruno sucks. He really, really sucks. Bruno wow. sucks. He really, really sucks. Hopefully Chief Bruno is sitting down. Bruno sucks. He uh, really, really let's sucks. Let's bring that down. I don't want Chief running into yeah. the studio now. Uh, <laughs> we don't need no run into the Kindle stick right now. <laughs> Just remember who has to get used. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's a shame that we found that. But, but Matt, I mean, that's like right in your bullpen of your, your lack of support for Bruno. That's crazy. The headlocks are running rampant. <laughs> you know, he got paid by the, the headlock. Did you know that? That's why uh, he did so many headlocks. That's why he made like 40 cents a match in like 1942. <laughs> uh, we are in so much trouble next week. Uh, let's talk about Survivor <laughs> Series before, or maybe sometime before the show is out. Um, I, I don't think I'm going to give the numbers often because maybe he'll forget the, line, the call-in number. Maybe. <laughs> so I don't want to give it out too much. Although Mr. Producer can put it on the screen. There you go. See, I knew that would happen. But does he pay attention to the top of the screen now? He's got it going on his rotary phone, so it might take him like a half an hour to call the number. It's fun. And it's rub fine. his play with his uh, his toy to make it work. Yeah. Right? Plug it in. Okay. Well, we don't have any. We can't give away any videos. His work opportunities are not here today to, to pitch it. So, all right. Let's talk They'll about be available <laughs> Friday night. Yes. Survivor Series. Let's talk about Survivor Series before we go to the bottom of the hour to uh, introduce our replacement segment, our break glass in case of emergency segment when Chief is not here. <laughs> God, this should be good. Uh, Team Bel Air defeated Team Damage Control in War Games. Thoughts the, on the match overall? Don't give me. This will be my. No, no, no. Don't get you started. That's the whole point of this you, damn thing. Don't start <laughs> yet. <laughs> okay, oh, that your, the, yeah, that'll be my. T- yeah. Just talk yeah. about the match. Just, just okay. We talk. We. I think we all. I'm Chief. I think he recorded our results. I believe we all picked uh, Bianca's team to win. I think. Uh, I think I think I think so. Okay. If Alexa Bliss is in a match, I voted for her. <laughs> well, yeah. So yes, yeah, I'll yeah, we right. that. Yeah, we know exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. We, we know that. <laughs> it, was good, it was a good match. I'll leave it at that for right now. All right. It was a good match. Your thoughts? I thought it was a really good match. I almost thought it was better than the men's match. I mean, uh, coming off the top of the cage, Becky did that once with her butt bomb. And uh, who was it? Um, Io Shirai. Io Shirai. She came off the cage. She didn't look too good, though, at the end of the match. You just see the clip of Rhea Ripley having to carry her back mm-hmm. where she stumbled uh, out of the cage. Um, Rhea, one thing that concerns me is Ripley was not made. I didn't think Ripley was made to look strong like she has been when she's out there with judgment. True. She's like second like fiddle in the storyline, though. The yeah. whole like major part of the war games was Bianca versus sure. Bailey, basically. Sure. 
I Mia mean, Yim and Rhea had like their little thing, but they weren't like the main focus of the match. And at that point, Ripley, I thought, controlled Mia Yim to really not show Mia Yim being as strong uh, as they had thought to bring her in to offset Ripley. Unless they're saving that for Judgment Day and the OC going together. I mean, that could be two. JP. <laughs> you mean MJF stick it was good? What are we? We are not talking well, about MJF. He's talking about the Bruno stuff. Oh, <laughs> the Bruno chant. Because <laughs> uh, Bruno, because Bruno, because yeah. MJF brought up Bruno on Wednesday. So there you go. That's right. All right. Um, I thought it was a good match. I thought there were some soft spots in it and some obvious spots of what they were doing, killing time, waiting for the next person to come in. I, you know, you've got to make those things a little less obvious. I think. Um, but overall, I thought it was a solid match. I mean, yeah, I, I really bad, no major, no, <laughs> no I'll major. I'll get there in a few ways. minutes. Okay, yeah, don't say anything. Otherwise, you're going to be fired before you start. Uh, AJ Styles versus Balor. I think we all picked uh, AJ on this one. Great Balor. match, and it was cool to see AJ finally get a singles win after three years. Yeah, absolutely. it's still mind-boggling that he hasn't won a singles match in three years. There you go. Uh, William just updated us, confirming uh, that there's still only three spots. So within the last 30 minutes, there are no other spots that have uh, been purchased yet. Uh, William also just put the uh, link into the Facebook page. Three spots, 20 bucks each. Get that grand prize uh, items that we showed earlier. There's some cool stuff in there. They're absolutely. That's why I told William, if there's only one spot left and it's not going, I'll take it. What the heck? Get yeah. a chance huh? to win all that stuff. It makes sense. If um, there's three left after like a couple of days, I'll sweeten the pot a little bit. Okay. I got some. Uh, I got stuff. You got Ooh. Some, ooh. 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 You, I'm sure it has nothing to do with Alexa Bliss, though. You're hanging on to all of that. Oh, right? it's all mine. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All mine. Alexa and the good doctor ain't going nowhere. Of course. Right. Did, you see, did you see Soraya uh, after the match? As soon as her plane landed, she had to go to a dentist and have wisdom teeth taken out. <laughs> Literally. Guess which dentist she went to. And she commented on that. She didn't. But the funny part was that she put in her post. Here I am going to the to the dentist to have some work done after I wrestled the dentist. <laughs> that, but it would have been funnier if she had gone to her to get the job done that she needed. She said she didn't, but did she really? She probably did. I, I would love to be. I bet you she did. <laughs> I bet she did too. If anybody could confirm that, we'd love to know if she really. That has to. to be like the AEW like designated dentist. It has to. Well, when know. she was in the headlock or something, she probably whispered to Britt. Hey, I need my wisdom teeth taken out. Can I come in and see you tomorrow? <laughs> I wonder how many like wrestling fans be like, can I get an appointment for a teeth cleaning? By the way, will you sign this stuff for That's me? That's right. You oh, eat some Oreo. Lot. She must get so annoyed going to that office. But she's got to expect it, though. Don't you yeah. think? She's got to expect it. But for that idea, you, you eat a bunch of Oreo cookies. So yeah. you're in the chair longer. Yeah. True. So <laughs> Anyway. I would eat Gorilla Glue then. <laughs> Don't. Well, oh, William. Try to pick this out of my teeth. We'll be here a while. <laughs> William says, don't forget spouses can enter too. Very good. That is true. Thank you, sir. Anybody, listen, anybody with 20 bucks who wants to chip in and help the Avery Burton Foundation, male, female, young, old, we don't care. 20 bucks, you're in. Okay. Um, all right. Here's the one that I think was the, was the black guy of the match, uh, of, the, of the event, in, in my opinion, at least. Rousey defeated Chotzi. Um, I mean, that truly was my bathroom break match, and I was disappointed that it was terrible. It was was terrible. It was absolutely. And I saw a lot of botches happen over the, you know, happen. I hate to use the words botches, but some missteps, you know, you can't help a slippery rope. Mm -hmm. You know, that happens, you know, that sort of thing. But that match between those two, I I, I think I sent you a message. You did. I titled it Botch Fest. Yep. Because it was just ugly. (laughs) And now you're hearing Rousey, you know, fired, fire Rousey now, chance and all this other stuff. Hopefully she'll be going after WrestleMania. We don't really know. You really don't need her. Well, not if Charlotte comes back, or when Charlotte comes back. Probably she's, Royal Rumble. She's training to come back, so yep. hopefully she comes back sooner than later. I think Royal Rumble is one of the third yeah. entrants would make the most sense, don't you think? Yeah. True. M- maybe number one. And come back and goes through and, 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 and runs the, the gauntlet. Yeah, that would yeah. be interesting. Do something her dad didn't do. Yeah, there you go. Plus, dad's dad. back in the fold too, right? He should. He was somewhere backstage at. The last uh, event, but wasn't on camera anywhere, which I yeah. think is a good move. All right. Austin Theory defeated Seth Rollins and Bobby Lashley to win the U.S. champ belt for a second time. Didn't, two time. Two time. Didn't really help Theory the way he won it, but. No, but he won into it. it. Backed into it. Yeah. That was a cool finish. Yeah. I mean, he won the, t- the belt. I mean, which I think with the change in character for him right now, he needed to win the belt. Yeah. yeah it doesn't he, hurt Rollins. It doesn't hurt no. Lashley. No. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, funny, Crawford, funny. You're lucky I'm not going tonight. <laughs> uh, can we favorite that one? Yeah, can we? <laughs> <laughs> can we get a screenshot of that one? Uh, <laughs> Brandy's listening, so I imagine there's going to be a I Agree Tom Crawford post coming up soon. So. You're damn right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought it was a good match, though, in all sincerity. I thought it was a good match, uh, some, some good spots. Yeah. Um, you know, but it was also done in a way, the ending was done in a way that you would expect from a heel. Yeah. yeah. And he got it done and became champ, and I think that's going to be good for his push. It will oh, be. No, there won't. I guess we so out of it. He was out of the ring. Like, was my music playing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Were you handing me the happened? belt? What the hell? Huh? Exactly. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, am I holding? Oh, yeah. That's exactly right. Okay. Uh, last match. Uh, Team Bloodline defeated Team Brawling Brutes in War Games. Okay. I, th- I really, really, really enjoyed the match. They had the same issue that the ladies had. It became obvious that in the three-minute period, you, they came out hot against each other for yeah. like the first minute or so. But it's two on one, and then all of a sudden, at the last minute now, like they did with Bel Air, they pinned Bel Air up against the, the behind a table, even though we're basically she was resting, yeah. you know. Uh, but I thought overall it was a great match. I listen, the ending did it the way it ended. Did you guys see that coming? No, because I predicted the Brutes to win because Sammy would take the fall. Okay, and I thought I think I agreed with that. I knew the finish was going to come down to Sammy and Kevin somehow. Okay, but I didn't think it was going to. Kind of thought it was going to end like that, but I didn't. Were you hoping it wouldn't that way? That something else would have happened? That um, either listen on the show Survivor, there's always one person that has that swing vote. Yeah, yeah. For, for to get rid of one person, or the other. Sammy was the swing vote in that match. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he could have gone either way in 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 stabbing the bloodline or you know stabbing uh, the other guys and and working with Kevin. Um, I was hoping. For the turn, especially when he was standing over Kevin and he's rubbing his head and his face, like, what did I just do? You know, and, and then all of a sudden, you know, we see the, the other way around. Almost right. says that to him. Well, and, and he did that. Right, exactly. And he did that, obviously, to get into good graces with Jay and, and all that other stuff. Oh, yeah, and with Roman. But, and, and with Roman. But um, I, I thought it was an excellent match. And now it'll be interesting to see if the rumors are true that at some point, Sammy and Kevin are going to go after the tag titles, how they're going to make that story work. Because they now took, they, they've now stepped away from putting that group together, those two together, by the way they finished. I've already booked it in my head. I've already the set. turn happens at Elimination Chamber. Okay. The match happens at WrestleMania. Yeah. Hmm. They're, gonna, they're all going to turn on Sammy. They're going to beat the, the snot out of him. Okay. Owens and me backstage, like, back, pacing back and forth, like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Comes out, music hits, and he beats up the bloodline, and they reunite. Because they're talking at some point, even Owen's going up against uh, Roman at that, an upcoming pay per view. Well, right? that'll probably be at the Rumble, yeah. yeah. So it'll be interesting. Or maybe at, at the Rumble, something happens with Sammy to set it up. Sammy could, like, try to help Roman, accidentally hits Roman. Or grabs the wrong leg if they're up against the ropes. We've seen yeah. that done a million times. Where but Owen's ain't wearing the belt, but, but no. it'll be like a little su- something subtle. Yeah. I, I, it's great storyline. Let's put it that way. Oh, a lot yeah. of opportunities. Oh, yeah. So. All right, any other final thoughts on that event, on War Games, before we introduce our substitute segment? I think this with the whole Sammy Kevin thing, with it being Elimination Chamber being in Montreal, it kind of writes itself. Oh, that's yeah. good. You know what? I forgot about that. Elimination Chamber is in Sammy and Kevin's hometown. Yeah, that's a, with, that's a great and point. with Hunter booking it, it's almost that's, foolproof. That's a great point. That's a great point. All right, we are just past the bottom of the hour. We're traditionally the favorite, the part of. Uh, Everybody's show is the Chief's rant, where Chief gets his three minutes of fame to get off his chest whatever he'd like. However, with uh, Chief not being available today, we have a new segment. A substitute. We're going to say not new, a substitute <laughs> segment when the Chief is not available. It I is like n- this name better than the other one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's honestly, I, I agree with it. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for Thomas's Tantrum. <laughs> this is amazing. I like All right, my first tantrum ever. <laughs> well, not ever. <laughs> Uninterrupted. Yeah, uninterrupted tantrum, yeah. The women's war games match. I thought the booking 
was terrible. The heels didn't want to get much heat on everybody. They go in 2-1-1, especially at the beginning when it's Io and Dakota over Bianca. Bianca was fighting him off like there was nothing. That does nothing for the tag champs. You would think Vince was booking again the way they were treated. I just don't understand them that booking. Like, the heels never got any much of an advantage. Rhea looked bad. I mean, she got the win. She was like, so she get the win, but she didn't get pinned, but she didn't look good. Becky jumping off the top of the cage, double leg drop on the tag champs. Pinned them. Should have pinned Nikki. But what do I know? I'm not the booker anymore. At all. Not anymore, but I'm not booking at all. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember them asking you to, to give you the pencil. That's your whole tantrum? That's my whole tantrum. Not much of a tantrum. No, not much. No crying, no screaming, nope. no kicking on the floor? Nope, no, no. That sucked. It did. <laughs> <laughs> but in all honesty, in his defense, we hit him with it at like 8.59. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, but, but Ronald loved the Swing intro. Swing and a miss. <laughs> That's right. Sorry. <laughs> Strug out. Uh, but Ronald loved the intro, though, by the way. <laughs> so that will be a segment that we'll have to. <laughs> That's it. We may have to never, ever show Thomas's <laughs> tantrum ever again because that's not the chief. tag champions look weak. <laughs> <laughs> that was not chief approved. <laughs> but chief, you got to admit, you got to like the opening to the segment. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure you like that. Hopefully, that made you laugh a little bit because certainly his tantrum made us cry. <laughs> that was his bathroom break, and it didn't even go a full no. minute. So, Ronald, if that was your bathroom break, and you're back that quickly. I'll say <laughs> that they stole my line. I was gonna be, that was the bathroom break segment of Thoughts Count Anywhere. <laughs> See, our audience is getting to know our audience is getting to know our shtick now. I'm gonna start a tantrum about Thomas in a second. <laughs> Listen, he has about two minutes left. Do you want to take it? <laughs> he can do whatever he wants on his last day. <laughs> uh, do we have an empty box around the studio to take his stuff out? He doesn't bring a notebook. What the hell is he gonna put in it? <laughs> he can pretend. He can just carry out an empty box <laughs> <laughs> full of tears and hope. <laughs> Use tissues. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! And his, he can put his stale donuts back in that box too. <laughs> Return to sender. Can you get my eight bucks back for them things? At least wanted lighter fluid. Come That's on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> New flavor at Albertsons. <laughs> Light it up, baby. <laughs> I see. <laughs> uh, did you have that behind the intro? By the way, that would be funny as shit with the baby face, <laughs> with the tears behind it. Oh, I can't see behind my tears of laughter. Okay, uh, we have uh, five more minutes before we go to our second break, and then uh, hopefully uh, as we get ready to go into our second hour, our guest, Alice Blair, hopefully will be arriving at the studio as I look at the outside camera. I'm also checking for messages, and uh, I don't see any where she says, I can't find you guys or anything like that, so uh, hopefully she's on her way. Anyway, okay, so let's get back to it. Um, Dexter Loomis defeated Miz to win the money he was owed. And a WWE contract. I'm glad that storyline's over to this point. I mean, I, that, that thing between the two of them did nothing for me. No, it was, it was horrible. That was really bad. It would have been entertaining if it was only like a two-week thing or something, but it's been going on for a hot minute. Exactly. I agree with that. Yeah. But when they had like the thing of money, and he was like handing kids in the money, I kind of froze it on one of them. I'm almost positive those were real $100 bills he was handing out. Yeah, was yeah. Like, well, apparently they were going in the consent to the uh, merchandise stand and buying merchandise with that money. Eh, duh. Handing it to kids. What else do you think they're going to do with it? <laughs> hey, Mom, can I roll this later? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mom, I meant Dad. <laughs> this from a four-year-old. Anyway. Running up the stairs, acknowledge me! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going! <laughs> uh, you know what? Money. We're going to step aside for our break a little early because I believe our guest has just walked in here. She's coming into the studio, so we'll give her a chance to get settled. Oh, no, there no. you go. No, it's not a she. But anyway, one of our guests is, is here. We were expecting another one as well, but that's good. Joining us when we come back from break, he is the major Matt corporate sponsor for what? You dubbed up three. And that is, of course, Big B Financial. Mr. Bernard is here with us. We'll talk with him about that and get his thoughts on whatever else he wants to talk about. We'll be back right after this. This is the story of one man's incredible journey from 350 to 200 pound weight loss and his mission to help and inspire others. Aaron Phillips. People are praising Aaron's new book with five star reviews. Aaron's various humorous and wildly entertaining stories portray his rise as a sports announcer, 
his encounters with exotic and irregular entertainers on the Las Vegas Strip through his long-running Vegas Unwrapped radio show and his contagious and positive style of pursuing success. Call now or visit our website or Amazon now to get your copy of Let My Voice Speak to You, stories from a Hall of Fame radio personality. Order now. It's not the worst podcast ever, is it? It's no. the best podcast. Thoughts count anywhere. All your wrestling news, all your hobbit shit, hey, all your gimmickry. Go on over, listen wherever your podcasts are downloaded. The Thoughts Count Anywhere podcast. I'm the big LG Doc Ellis. That's my endorsement. Booyah! Hey guys, it's Tessa Blanchard and Ozzy, and you're watching Thoughts Count Anywhere. Go Live Vegas Studios, a unique multi-camera social media virtual content creator's paradise. We offer high-end services using live streaming and film production for your personal or corporate, commercial or event, and campaign needs. Pre-record or live stream to your audience on multiple social media platforms simultaneously. Fun and interactive with social media comments, phone lines, live remotes, audio foley sounds, and Snapchat filters. Be creative, get recognized, and make money. We help you by providing an all-in-house production team. Visit our website at golive.vegas. All right, welcome back. Thoughts Count Anywhere, coming to you live from the Go Live Vegas studios in the heart of Las Vegas, Nevada. This is me, Thomas Burnett. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to be very angry about something right yeah, now. Yeah, that's why I, I, I take my meds before I get angry. <laughs> so, uh, no, welcome. 702-329-694. Yeah, that segment's out of here. We got a new replacement <laughs> I'm, for that, I'm right? very upset, if you can tell. <laughs> that's <laughs> anyway, joining us here at our fun shop, he is the owner of Be Big Financial and a friend of the shows. We've have talked to him many times, and he is, well, call it as it is, he is the, one of the corporate sponsors for you dubbed up three. And those of you who will be there in person or will see it on stream, you will see his logo right there in the middle of the ring. I mean, literally in the ring. They will be, people have their faces right <laughs> <laughs> right into the big, big financial with a with a message, a subliminal message. That's going to say, call me. Anyway, pull that mic up in front of you, Bernard. Say hello to everybody. Hi, everyone. It's great to be here. Good to see you, my friend. How's Thanks. things going? Been a while. Fabulous. Fabulous. Good. Yeah. I, listen. Keeping you, myself busy. I'm going to say, listen, I get, his, I get notifications when he puts posts up in his videos. Let me tell you, this guy shares information really to, uh, to, to make yourself feel more financially independent. Absolutely. And you, really, you should, you should like his page and check out some of the videos for sure. Be Big Financial. Bernard uh, is the man as, uh, to give you that stuff. So, listen, you got to feel good because I remember the very first time. You guys probably remember this for, well, you may not because you weren't with us. I don't think at the, uh, uh, regularly with us, but you certainly do. At number one, Bernard was the sponsor of our pre-show at the time. Yeah. And I'm sitting next to Bernard, and after we get off the air, um, he says to me, I have a vision. I have a goal. I want my logo in the middle of that ring someday soon. I said, really? He says, yeah, absolutely. And here you are. Six days. A couple of months later. What's that? Oh, six, six days, days away <laughs> for having that logo flush in the middle of the mat. Um, the House of Blues is going to be sold out from what I'm seeing um, live on stream. That's got to make you feel good to, to have, you know, want to do that. And you did it. Absolutely. I mean, that's, that's, that's what we go for here. I mean, everybody should. Sure. I mean, you want to go for something, go for it. There's no stopping. Nice thing is, for him and his crowd as part of his package, he's going to have a nice suite as a corporate sponsor. So oh, for those nice. of you the next time around, not necessarily take the mat, because I think he wants to keep that spot. But corporate sponsors get a nice package, and they offered you some really good stuff to come on board, and you're going to have a suite to enjoy the, uh, the card next Friday. Absolutely. you got to bring some people, too. There you go. <laughs> Heck, yeah. There you go. It is, uh, I think we're going to bring up uh, your website, which we appreciate. What are you going to do? That? I have no idea. So this is your website, right? What, what's My the web address real quick? My name is B-B-I-G. So it's bbigfinancial.com. There you go. And uh, you can see uh, the links there, and all the, the information. We're flush right in the middle when he did an interview with us. Uh, everything you want to know, everything from building a corporation and how to structure people, right? Whether you're an S-Corp, LLC. Or whether you're just like us guys where we get a paycheck and how we need to become less dependent on 
how am I going to, you know, take care of buying a car in a couple of months or for that matter, just, you know, taking, taking care of a bill in 30 days, right? I mean, that's kind of the other stuff that you do with people and guide them in that direction. Yeah, well, the whole biggest thing is that when you're talking about buying a car, you buy a car, recapture all your money at the same time. I mean, isn't that the best way to sit there and you pay your bills and all the money's yours, but you still get to pay your bills? Heck yeah. I know. I think they call that a win-win. Yeah. If he does like corporate stuff, I know someone who needs to call him desperately. Tony Khan. (laughs) (laughs) Dear Lord. (laughs) Right. Well, listen, uh, after after Friday night and his logo's on there, um, and well, I'm sure, well, I'll confirm this, but I'm sure I'll be able to do a little bit of a live read and talk about our corporate sponsors. Tony Khan, you never know. Oh, we have a guest? Excellent. So, Matt, you want to jump out and I would say grab Alice, but that could mean a whole different thing around here. Um, exactly. But, but seriously, I mean, he mentions Tony Khan. He's the owner of AEW, the major national organization against WWE. And uh, listen, some of his performers are going to be on the card Friday next sure. week. And so anything is possible. Absolutely. So that, like you talk about, you, you first got to be there. You, you made that want and desire five months ago. And here you are now, a couple of, only a handful of months later, and here you are, you achieve the goal, your logo is going to be dead center for everybody to see, and uh, now you never know what's good. Planting seeds, that's what's happening with that. There you go, that great word. That's like a, that? And that's the same thing with your financials. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, absolutely. Our guest that's coming up at the top of the hour, by the way, her name is Alice Blair. She's going to be one of the uh, wrestlers there Friday night. They'll have the opportunity to tromp and step all over your logo. I mean, uh, look at your logo in the ring. <laughs> well, that's okay. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but uh, Alice is here in studio. We'll, we'll have her up here in a few minutes. Good morning. Good morning. How she you going to pin two other girls in the middle of your logo that's on right. Friday? What a shot that would be. You better, you better be ready with a camera. <laughs> I am, trust that, me. <laughs> when you win Friday, you have to pin them in the middle of the ring right on top of his logo. He's the corporate sponsor for the Matt logo. So you make sure you <laughs> pin them right in the middle so we can get a good shot for social media. Okay, <laughs> see, see we, we're working that in. I see, we got you covered there. So, not that there is going to be a chance with the other seven matches that night, but, sure. uh, mm-hmm. but we have someone here that has direct control if she yeah. wins. You know, we, <laughs> we're going to make that happen. But uh, you look very not welcome. I mean, most people come, we don't even look good in any way. You look great. Oh, so gotcha. All right. Oh, nice. Are you wrestling where in town, FSW? Yes. There you go. Well, we could talk about that too. We'll talk about all that. Sorry, she's a lot prettier than you. That's I'm talking over here with her. Understand. See, you guys all lost that. my attention. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. As soon as Matt saw, yeah, our producer saw you on the camera that you're coming to Matt's like, I'll go get her. Drops a headset and boom, he was out of studio. Anyway, so listen, big stuff for you. What's coming down the pike for Be Big? What you got working? What's some upcoming events or, or videos? Talk about what you got going on. Yeah, I have a live that I'm doing here and it's in town. It's up in the uh, Sutherland Highland areas and it's with a, a gentleman by the name of Todd Alt. Okay. And it's called the uh, Risk No Show, and that'll be live on Monday. And then I'm working on creating, like I said, I still want to work on my own podcasting. So moving into that direction, too, because you know. I'm if, waiting for my phone to ring, dude. That's okay. As long as I said I'm going to do it, it's going <laughs> to get there. Exactly. It just doesn't matter when it's going to happen, but he, it'll get there. He said that to us in July about the logo. So I, I fully, There it was. <laughs> there it was. You made it. You met, Listen, like the, have you guys, did you guys ever read The Secret or see the movie The Secret when it came out? It was a big thing about 10 years ago. No. Do you guys know? Why am I getting? You don't know. You don't know the secret. Do you remember the secret? Do you know the secret? Do you know? No, oh my God. Apparently, it's a secret. Aaron, <laughs> Aaron, bail me out here. Do you know this? Do you remember the secret when it came out? The movie and the book nope. and everything? Look it up on Google. You'll find it. And then if you find the logo, it's just pop it on screen. It's a secret. Right? There's a whole Abbott and Costello Nobody routine knows. waiting to break out with this thing. But it's where you manif- It's about manifestation, basically. Sure. And uh, you put something out there. They say if you put something out there to the universe... It may not be right away, but yeah. it will manifest, and then eventually, you speak it just don't miss the signs when it comes back, because if you miss it, Absolutely. that's when you're in trouble. But that's what you did there in July. That's you put it out there, and we made it happen, and I'm, and I'm grateful for that. Um, give some contact information before I totally forget. I know you just did the website, but give it again. Phone numbers, all that stuff. Yeah, the best thing to do is you go to do the website. So go to bebigfinancial.com, and there's a uh, contact us section page in there. Mm-hmm. Just put the information in. It's all free. Remember, this is all education. We just raised... We got a project here in Las Vegas for business funding, uh, 150 mil we're working on, and we've already raised up over you know 10 million dollars within the past three months to help small businesses. So if anybody needs that, like I said, it's all free, and then I'll teach you how to pay your bills not using your own money. I'm doing a uh, a webinar series December 15th, and it's an Eventbrite. It's free. Just go and log into there. Uh, just join it and come and listen. It'll be talking about turning your liabilities into an asset. 
and I'll be focusing more on businesses on how they could use this strategy to build wealth. And you know, there's a phone number in there, you can do that. My number directly is 702-308-0649. So there are eight matches next week. I have a match card here, courtesy of Chief. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> he, had, he had, let's take a picture, email it back to me, the original sheet that I gave him two weeks ago. <laughs> That's what Don't he does. Don't you love technology? <laughs> No, we don't so love technology. Here, here's a, listen, here, this is a historic card because they're the first three historic? title holders. Yeah, historic. Yeah, you better take notes. <laughs> bring a pad. At least pretend to bring a pad. Uh, the first three major champions will be crowned in their matches, right? Yeah, yes. So here's some, here, are the, here is the card. Special feature match. Two out of three falls. Of course, Tessa Blanchard taking on Miranda Alize. Sorry, Chief. Um, Lady Tapa taking on Santana Garrett. That's for one of the belts. Renegade Twins the, versus the Vanity Twins, also for the tag team title. Christy Janes and Danny B up for the Nevada State title match, by the way. Uh, Lady Tapa and Santana is for the U.S. title. Renee Michelle, Katie Forbes. Here's the triple threat. Maserati, another local favorite. Zeta Zhang and one Alice Blair. That's the hot one. That's, a, that's the big one. Winner gets qualifies for a title match, right? At UW Dub Four. Four. So there's a lot at stake in that triple threat. That'll be the first number one contender, basically. Uh, Rochelle Riveter taking on Ashley D'Ambrose and Zyra taking on Vam Va ah, Vipers. Vipers. Um, so it's going to be a big card. So have you studied the card yet, Mr. Bernard? Have not. Have not. Have well, to. there goes my next question. <laughs> yep. um, no, seriously, you were wrestling. You went to the events with us. But this is going to be pretty special, though, too. Uh, what are you... What is your most exciting thing you're looking forward to, whether it's a match or just being there, the experience, whatever it is? What's, what are you looking forward to next Friday for yourself? Well, you, you just definitely mentioned just being there. <clears throat> I, I like to be out there and in person's a lot better than just, you know, watching it on TV and all and live streaming. So mm -hmm. it's, it's great to feel the energy while you're there. Now, if he wants to make back some of his money, if you want to join him in the box that he has, Bill, he can, <laughs> he can be bought for a seat if he doesn't. And I'm only kidding. <laughs> no, no, keep going. Hold <laughs> <laughs> on, what? <laughs> That's right. That's right. So if you want a seat, reach Everybody's out to Big B Financial. Price. That's right. That's for right. Big. Exactly right. Cool. So listen, it's going to be fun. Uh, we're excited to have you there. Excited that uh, you're jumping on board with UW Dub for uh, whatever for this event and, and hopefully moving forward. And uh, check it out for sure. Listen, he's a good guy. And I, I met him at an event. How long ago was that golf event? Less uh, than a year ago. Yeah, well, a little, about, about a year. About a year ago. About a year yeah. ago. Yep. And uh, listen, I only try to work with good people that follow up with what they do, except for Why my is Thomas here? I mean, <laughs> you took it. <laughs> That's because he I, usually. I follow through <laughs> with my commitment back in January. That's because that's because he usually has You're a horrible to agent. Thumb, he usually has to thumb it with Chief. Chief stuck with him in the car, so I mean, it just has to come along. You know what I'm saying? But seriously, the guy knows what he's talking about. We've chatted a lot about business and things like that. I promised him after the first of the year, he and I, with my wife, we're going to sit down and we're going to finally get our stuff together. <laughs> Um, it's just been a crazy time. So uh, we thank you for jumping on with you, Dub Dub. We thank you for becoming part of the TCA family, which you are, man. And I we appreciate it. it. I love so it. don't go to. You're welcome to stick around if you'd like. Maybe during the break, you could take a picture with Alice while she's here, as, uh, since you're the corporate sponsor and she's one of the wrestlers that'll be there. Maybe take your own little selfie if you'd like. Spoiler Absolutely. alert, winner of the triple threat. There you go. Spoiler <laughs> alert. All right, with that, I know it's early, but we've got a lot to do. So we're going to step aside for our closure of our first hour because we have so much to do. And ladies and gentlemen, the set's going to look a lot prettier when Alice joins us after the hour. You're watching Thoughts Cut Anywhere with the crew. We'll be right back. This is the story of one man's incredible journey from 350 to 200 pound weight loss and his mission to help and inspire others. Aaron Phillips. People are praising Aaron's new book with five star reviews. Aaron's various humorous and wildly entertaining stories portray his rise as a sports announcer his encounters with exotic and irregular entertainers on the Las Vegas Strip through his long-running Vegas Unwrapped radio show, and his contagious and positive style of pursuing success. Call now or visit our website or Amazon now to get your copy of Let My Voice Speak to You, stories from a Hall of Fame radio personality. Order now. What's up, man? It's your boy, Sephiroth. I'm here with my man, Big Chief. I need you to check out the podcast, Thoughts Count Anywhere. 
This is the essential character EC3 on behalf of my dear friends at Thoughts Count Anyway. The podcast for your mind when you need deep thinking about all things sports and entertainment. Hello, this is Martin Casals, aka Marty the Mod, and you're watching the Thoughts Count Anywhere podcast. Enjoy! <laughs> this is Impact Wrestling's Dash and Chris Bay, the ultimate finesse, former finesse division champion. And you're listening to Thoughts Count Anywhere podcast. Thoughts Count Anywhere. Y'all watching this. This is my new tag team partner, Steve-O, a.k.a. Zoo, from the hit movie Friday and from No Holds Bar. Hi, I'm Sean Kavari. Listen to Thoughts Count Anywhere for all your wrestling news. Hey, what's going on? This is Axe, and I'm smashing the demolition. And we want to invite you to watch every Saturday morning, Thoughts Count Anywhere. Hey guys, it's Tessa Blanchard and Ozzy, and you're watching Thoughts Count Anywhere. One. It's not the worst podcast ever, is it? It's no. the best podcast. Thoughts Count Anywhere. All your wrestling news, all your hobbit hey, all your gimmickry. Go on over, listen wherever your podcasts are downloaded. The Thoughts Count Anywhere podcast. I'm the big LG Doc Ellis. That's my endorsement. Booyah! Live Vegas Studios, a unique multi-camera social media virtual content creator's paradise. We offer high-end services using live streaming and film production for your personal or corporate, commercial or event, and campaign needs. Pre-record or live stream to your audience on multiple social media platforms simultaneously. Fun and interactive with social media comments, phone lines, live remotes, audio foley sounds, and Snapchat filters. Be creative, get recognized, and make money. We help you by providing an all-in-house production team. Visit our website at golive.vegas. All right, our number two is officially underway. A few minutes early because we want to spend more time with our second guest. Yeah. <laughs> that's the bottom line. Join yeah. us here in studio because that's the bottom line. Because we said so. <laughs> Joining us now will be one of the entrants into the triple threat match Friday at UW Dub Three. You can repeat and it. Wrong. You can repeat it. Yes. UW Dub Three. Thank you. I get carried away when I intro stuff. I usually am used to doing it. Bad, bad, bad. Listen. Chief, you're not. <laughs> Miss Alice Blair joins us here this morning live in studio to talk about that match and some other stuff. And quite frankly, whatever she wants to talk about. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. It's so good to have you here. We love live guests. Yes, absolutely. The crowd goes wild. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not a crowd of one. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Where's that duct tape? Wait, I saw three rolls here. There you go. I got duct tape right down there. Three big rolls. Uh, eat a donut. Time. Can't take more than that. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Challenge accepted. I was going to say, that's no big deal. <laughs> anyway, Alice is here to talk about her triple threat. I know tonight you're at FSW as well. We'll talk about that in a little bit. So uh, let's th listen. Some of our audience who's outside of our, our area, because you pretty much are here in Vegas and Cali, right? You pretty yes. much are us on the Southwest? Like West Coast, yeah. Okay, West Coast. So somebody out in Jersey may be listening may not be familiar with you. So let's give a little background as to who you are, your per you know how long you've been in, et cetera. So my name is Alice Blair. I've been wrestling for two years. Okay. October was my two-year anniversary, and I've been trained under FSW. Okay, and who's your main trainers there? Sim Bodie, Kenny Keen, and Cody. That's not bad. It's not a bad trio. <laughs> no, not, not bad. bad at all. <laughs> we'll take that, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So how did you get started in wrestling? Um, I kind of started training like straight out of high school. It was something that I knew I wanted to do, so I kind of just jumped on it right afterwards. Okay. And then now I'm here. There you go. Yeah. Guys? Yeah. So you went from training like two years ago to triple threat right on the Las Vegas Strip. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. What Had do you think about an all-women's promotion? Like, What no. do you think about like a mainstream all-women's promotion like UWW happening? I think it's pretty cool. When they asked me to be a part of it last show, I was pretty honored. You know, you mm. don't see that many like all-women's promotion, especially in Vegas. True. So mm -hmm. it was an honor to be part of it. We have a request in the uh, chat room from uh, not Chief, by the <laughs> way. Tom Tom wants to know: Can Alice chop Thomas in studio? <laughs> <laughs> are you willing to take a chop? Sure. I'll okay, I'll chop. tell you what. No, seriously, if you yeah. are willing, I'll tell you what. If you are willing to take a chop, okay, William, if you're still listening, I will give up that last box. I will take that same twenty dollars because I, we want to do more, right? We want to reach over yeah. that thirteen. So I will double that. 
I will donate my own forty dollars out of pocket to our cause. I want all three of those remaining boxes purchased. If you can let her chop you live right now yeah. on the air. Yeah, I'll do it. Will you we, see we're trying to we're raising money. We have a poster out here, it's all signed. We'll get you to sign it when we see you Friday and other items to raise money for the Avery Burton Foundation here in town, which is a uh, mental illness slash wellness and suicide prevention resource center. Okay. And so we're raising money to donate them and we need to reach $1,301. Okay. Okay, so we'll, hang we'll, on, we'll hang, on, uh, hang, on. hang on. What are we hanging out for? Oh, oh. Chief. Oh. <laughs> oh, nice. Chief is now matching my 40. We're now up to $80. Now is it $40 a chop? If I keep getting forty dollars, it's going to be per <laughs> chop. I got news for you. But I'll tell you what: you don't have to take your shirt off. You don't have to do this. No, 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 yeah, no. Okay, so we don't want to get taken yeah. off the air. <laughs> <laughs> Roku bands for live chopping on uh, uh, on the show. Oh, wait a minute! We got a phone call. Oh, oh I, no! I knew he was not going to miss this moment <laughs> oh. about chops. It is now time to welcome in the voice, the man, the man who can only do a rant like nobody else, Mr. Chief. How are you? Good morning, everyone. This is the Chief. How the you doing, bud? The original, the only Chief. The Bruno San Martino fan of <laughs> many years ago. <laughs> I, will, I will match you, Aaron. I will match you to uh, see him take the chop. Now is I'm just glad I'm not driving him home so I don't have to take the chop. <laughs> <out of laughs> hear, him, hear him crying all the way home. Now is it $40 a chop now? So does that mean he, he has to take two chops, 40 for me and 40 from you? Hey, whatever, however we want to do it, man. We can, <laughs> no, we only better get him one and we'll just match it. All right, that's fair. So um, let's get, all right, we'll do it. We'll do one chop. So you Hold got on, $80, on. huh? You guys aren't going to one-up me either. I'll match it, too. <laughs> well, there you go. So we now have an even $100 for Thomas to be chopped. If you had, well, wouldn't that be $120? Oh, i am sorry, $120. Sorry. He's a math teacher. I know. He's a school teacher. What the hell? Well, remember where I teach, gentlemen. <laughs> Doesn't what's, matter. What's Thank school? you to the Clark County School District. <laughs> <laughs> so we have $120 going in on top of the other money. So, William, please sell out those other three. We're going to donate $120 for Thomas to take a chop. You want to do it now without building anticipation? All right. So you're good to do it now? Sure. I'll right, pay so to see Thomas get hurt. <laughs> so, all right, take our headsets off and just push the microphone booms down. Mr. Uh, Mr. Producer, you want them to do it back here or out front? All right, so come on out in front of the desk. This way, if Thomas falls backward, the, the desk is here to stop him from falling flat to the floor. So you, you describe to him. Come on, step a little closer this way to the desk so we get you. There we go. So you guys describe anything that you want to do. I'm going to put a microphone here so we hear the slap. Hey, and listen, while you guys are doing that, I love you all. I'm hanging up. Talk to you later. Right, have a good one, Chief. Feel better. Now, if you didn't have a shirt on, we always see this, right? <laughs> you can't do that. Okay. Right? So I want you to rear back. you got $120 of power in here riding on Thomas to take this chop. So make it, make it, pretend it's one of your two other opponents. So here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> oh! That was great. Wow. All right, come on back. Wow. <laughs> now there's a tantrum for you. Well done. Nice. Man, I don't envy your chest later. Wow. Anyway. How's it, how did it feel? How does a chop feel? Stinging a little. Stinging? Yeah. yeah but you, and you still had a shirt on, yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, it stings. Wow. That was and great. Just hearing it hurt me. <laughs> God, that was worth $40. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm now awake. <laughs> I know if Brandy were watching, you know she would have chimed in for that one. So, uh, oh, <laughs> Tom, thank you, Tom. Yes, Thomas, are you chipping in another 20 for that since it was your idea? Yeah, you should chip in there, dude. Let's take it to 140, man. Come on. Oh, Ronald, best part of the show. I'm glad we can entertain. That's what we do here in Thoughts Count Anywhere. So, when, how, okay, who was the first person to take your very first chop in, when she started wrestling? I don't actually. Okay. I bet that person does though. <laughs> <laughs> we we just said memories. Uh, uh, yep, we yeah, chief. That is correct. Sim Bodie and yes. Kenny King, and Cody, right? Yes. Cody Hancock. Yep. Yeah. So uh, uh, down. Oh, down to just two spots. So we got two spots left for the for the raffle. Plus the hundred and twenty that we have, Crawford. Crawford, you better Crawford, be listening. You better be donating. It was your idea. We want forty from you also to take it to what's this? One twenty. One sixty. One sixty. 160. <laughs> All right, let's get back to it. How, now, is your hand stinging at all? A little 
bit. A little bit, yeah. yeah. See, her hand, if it's any <laughs> consolation, her hand is as red as probably your chest is. Yeah. She's uh, like, it's Thomas. Do you have any hand sanitizer? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Actually, we used to have some up here on the desk. Um, good stuff. But thank you for doing that because you just helped us raise 140, yeah, 40, sure. right? Is that what we said? 120? Yes. No, I don't know 120. Right. See, I was testing you. <laughs> uh, for the foundation, we thank you for that. Thank you, Crawford, for putting it out there, but we still want you to chime in with another 40. Um, okay, so you've done that, and now you're into wrestling. Now, what was you, did you have any aspirations before you got into wrestling? No, not really. That was the thing. Like, I didn't really know what I was going to do, okay. and, and it wasn't until I found wrestling Okay. that it was kind of what, you know, put me in this direction. Are you local here to Vegas? Yes, I Born am. and raised? Yes. So what does your family think about you getting into wrestling? Um, they actually didn't know at first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! That's how it always seems to start. Yeah. All right, Crawford's matched 40. There you go. Thank you, Tom. Yeah. So now we got 160 for a chop. Correct. What will be next week? A DDT? <laughs> <laughs> Whoever comes on next week, we'll have to figure out something We else. should do lives from, like, UWW. I want to get Lady Tapa to, like, chop somebody, see if we can get some money for I that. I volunteer you. <laughs> <laughs> I volunteer you. Sorry, I'll be, I'll be I'm dressed not, up. I'm sorry. I'm not I, taking I, a Lady Tapa chop. Yeah. You, you are. are. You are. You are. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> surprise, <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, so family didn't know. So how did no. you sneak around the training? How did you get it in there? Uh, mm. I would just, like, leave. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Right. So much to repeat, just me being just me there, sir. Oh, stop it's interrupting. It's fine her. when she does it. That's yes. right. With you, it's when you do it. Because she's new to the studio. She doesn't know. <laughs> stop talking. Will you let her answer my question, please? My my dad will leave like to work, and then he will be gone the evening. So that's when I will go to training. Nice. And then he would just he just started noticing like like where are you going. I was like, oh, I'm just you know. I got my extracurricular yeah. activity. <laughs> she heard can run at somebody in front of the family. And they're like, whoa, how'd you do that? <laughs> pretty, pretty much. I got something to tell you guys. <laughs> now, since they found out, now, do you have any siblings, brothers, sisters? I have a sister and a brother, older. Oh, both yeah. are older? So yes. you're the, you're the, yes. the youngest one. I'm the oh. youngest. Are they, are, are they happy that you're doing this? I mean, what's their thoughts as brother, sister? My... They're, my sister and my brother are pretty on board. Okay, pretty yeah. on board. You notice she didn't say all on board. They're somewhat there, supporting. Yeah. <laughs> I, my parents just, like, it wasn't what they expected. Okay. You know, so. Um, but you're showing them that it was yes. a good decision. Yeah. So okay. So at first it was, like, you know, kind of like, eh, but now they're, they see me do it, so now they're like, okay. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. The if best thing is you followed your passion, what yes. you wanted to do. If they're pretty on board, be like, who's going to see who at the House of Blues at Mandalay Bay? <laughs> <laughs> who's going to be on the <laughs> billboard on Mandalay Bay? Right. That's right. <laughs> right. That's right. Whose face is up there? You're doing something good. <laughs> that's right. Right. Who do you have your eye on in UWW? Like, other than the two people you're facing Friday night, who do you want to face next? Ooh, who do I want to face next? I would say maybe Miranda Alizé. That'd be, I'd, I'd love to see that's that That's someone match. I want to definitely face. See, I she said it right, Aaron. Yeah. I know Alizé. she did. I said Alizé. it right today, too. No, you didn't. No, you did not. I said Alizé. I did, you too. Didn't. And I looked no. up and I said, Chief, listen how it's said. Yeah, you said Elise. No, I didn't. You did. Anyway. I'll play it back for you. Anyway, <laughs> do it. <laughs> Let her answer the question. She did. She Don't make it about me. She said Miranda uh, Alize. Okay, so that's one. And then mm. obviously, at some point, we believe you're going to want to go after a title. At some yeah, point, one yeah. of the title holders. Mm, I guess I have to see who wins. Of course. No? Of course. Thing is, you got to win the triple threat to be the number mm -hmm. one contender. And let, don't lose sight of that, right? Yes. You've got to stay focused on what's ahead of yes. you. Matt? What do you think your opponents. Maserati and Zita Zang. Ooh, Maserati and Zita Zang. I actually know Maserati really well. She knows yeah. she's really, she's local here. Um, I've met Zeta probably twice. Oh, okay. You know, but I've heard they have, you know, history going on, Maz and Zeta. You know, but that's, that's something I could probably use to my advantage, you know, as they're beefing or whatever. I can probably sneak in and, you know, yeah. pin one of the oh, two. Oh, yeah, perfect strategy. Yeah. Hell yeah. Let them fight it out. Yeah, exactly. And just yeah. Pick Let up them push each other around and yeah. be like, I can grab one of you right now. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Wait till they're both out. And again, make sure they're both laid out over the logo. Right. So we make sure that Bernard's yes. happy. So <laughs> go ahead, Thomas. Who would you like to see you dub dub bring in for the next show? Bring again? Yeah, for the fourth Ooh. one. Like another, like another wrestler? To yeah, bring like in? other girls, yeah. Another girl. Mm. Would, I would you like, like them to see a sign, right? Yeah. Would you like you dub dub to sign for, for you dub dub four? Ooh. I would like to see Johnny Robbie again. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. I teamed up with her last 
Yeah. Last show, but maybe you know me and her could do something. Oh yeah, definitely love to see her back. There you go. That's that's yeah. a good match. That's a good match. Now, you, prior to you getting into the ring a couple of years ago, are you a fan of wrestling? Yes, I was. Yes. So I know I'm not going to ask about Bruno, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to ask. Do you, that do one you know one. who Bruno is, though? Bru- Sam Martino. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. Look at. <laughs> Chief would love Every her. Every wrestling fan knows who it is. He's just boring as hell. <laughs> <laughs> She's younger than me, than us, so you never know. So <laughs> we have a thing about Bruno here on the show. Yeah. So um, I'm not going to take, because we have one favor question, but mm-hmm. growing up, mm-hmm. knowing that this is what you wanted to do, did you pattern yourself after somebody, or who was your big inspiration as a, as a wrestler? So... Someone I really liked to watch was Dean Ambrose. Okay. Now John Moxley. Mm-hmm. And I also really like to watch AJ Lee. Okay. Yeah, those were the two that were my favorites. I, I wouldn't say I model myself, even though if, like, you've seen me wrestle, I'm, like, really, like, grounded. And mm-hmm. So I guess you can see that in, like, both. Okay. Yeah, but those two were my absolute favorites. Okay. Yeah. And, and sitting here as, uh, as I'm uh, looking, oh, my keg on Twitter with the New York Mets symbol. Uh, I'm a Yankee fan. I don't know if I can read this one, but I'll try. Uh, during the 2000s, WWE, it was the Bruno San Martino mm-hmm. era. Wow. So There's nothing else on TV. <laughs> <laughs> In black and white. <laughs> Seven zero on the radio. On the radio. 702-329-6947. Call in if you'd like to chat and ask Alice a question. Uh, she is here for a little bit with us as I'm trying to find a live stream on chat there. Um, so call us. Send us a tweet if you want to ask a question. We got it. If you're outside the U.S., 1-855-502-4321. Press the number one to call in. Um, (laughs) Thomas says, next week we start the annual Bruno San Martino Chop Mat Fundraiser. Screw it. Fine. All right. (laughs) Because you know he doesn't do chops. That's why he's a headline guy. So it's, it's interesting you mentioned A.J. Lee. And guys, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know if you see it as well, but sitting here, does she not present and almost kind of have that A.J. Lee look? A little yeah, bit, right? a little bit, yeah. Okay, yeah. I thought it was just me. Now are you per- now it's your look and you're independent and you, you, know, you, you go out there and how you want to present yourself. Yes. But you watched A.J. Yes. Is that conscious of how you are presenting yourself out there or not? I would say so. We're both really just small statured women. Okay. So once I saw her like a small statured woman on TV, it okay. kind of gave me like, oh, I could be one of those. You did know? you watch her win her belt for the first time when I she did. was first called up? Yeah. Did you get goosebumps? Yes. Goosies? <laughs> yes. <laughs> did you watch? Did you watch her return to wrestling? Uh, t- was it two weeks ago against Britt Baker with AEW? That As was Sarai. Paige. That's Paige. That oh, that's Paige. Paige. Uh, <laughs> she was Louise. He's a wrestling fan, I swear. I don't know. Well, it's beauty. Beauty blinds me. My brain doesn't think well. Jeez. Uh, That is right. So you correct me. She did return to produce WoW, though. That is, yes. Yes. That that is true. But Paige was also like that. Like, if you take AJ Lee, Mm -hmm. Paige was like AJ notched up a little differently. Kind of almost in that same style, so to speak. Yeah, like more goth, I would say. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. More goth. So, guys, next question. I'm just winging it. If you so. could face <laughs> anybody, like, what's your dream match? If you can face any one woman on this planet. Ooh. If I could face anyone, I would go to Japan. Nice. And Ooh. face the woman out there. That'd be cool. That's great. Maybe, like, Kairi. Kairi uh, saying, yes. That'd be cool. That'd be great. Yes. Five years from now, what does your crystal ball say about Alice Blair Alice as Blair. a professional wrestler? Japan. So you want nice. to go to New, New or Japan? Get or get signed. Okay. Get signed. Or travel the world, you know. A little bit of everything. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Not great, great goals. Great, great goals. Very great goals, yes. Yes. If you ever need three guys to handle your bags while you're making those trips, we're right here for <laughs> Okay. <you>. So <laughs> we, we, Sorry, Chief. You're out, you're out of luck. Right. You missed well, it. We'll let Chief come along. He'll be the security with his kendo stick. Yeah, there we so go. We'll, we'll let him come You're back in, Chief. So, <laughs> <laughs> Matt? Are we asking the final question? Or it's up to you. Do you. How much time do you have? Do you have to get out of here for – are you on the clock or not? Not, not really, no. Okay, have so you're some good time. To, all right, so you're good time. to hang for a little bit? Yes. All right, because we have one final question mm-hmm. that we always ask, and then we're going to go to break. We'll come back. We're just mm-hmm. going to keep going along, and then we want you to chime in and chat mm-hmm. with us about some of our topics. Okay. How's that? Sure. All right, Matt, final question. What's your Mount Rushmore of wrestling? Top four of all time. Does it have to be, like, women, men? No, anybody. Anybody, anybody, anybody you want. want. It's your Mount Rushmore. Ooh. Undertaker, for sure. Uh... It's a tough question yeah. when you put on the spot. <laughs> it could be valets, could be managers, could be anybody who you think infl- is your, your four. Undertaker, 
I would say John Cena for sure. Okay. Um, we have a commercial with him. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Right. I would put Trish up there. Okay. Trish. I need to one more. Well, that's hard. It is. We have the Jeopardy. The last one's game. always the hardest <laughs> exactly. one. Exactly. There's like always like ten names going through here. <laughs> yeah. But you've mentioned a couple ladies. Uh, you, you mentioned AJ. I mean, would she fall in? I mean, did AJ really wrestle long enough to be considered on someone's Mount Rushmore? I mean, she's, a- a- Mount Rushmore. No, I know, but I'm just talking out loud. That's why you know me. It's like yeah. the cat chasing the red light. Yeah. It depends, like... Plus, I'm stalling to try to help her think of a name, <laughs> <but> guys. <laughs> oh, it no. depends what that person did to you. Like, Bruno San Martino was on people's <laughs> Mount Rushmore for some reason. Should I put him? <laughs> Should I, is that my final? <laughs> In absentia, here's Bruno San Martino on her. <laughs> sure. yeah. There you go. All right, cool. Well, I think your selections were are good because you know what? You you brought up old school names. See, on this show, modern era wrestling is a '90s on. Mm-hmm. Anything prior to that is what Chief and I like to call old school. Mm-hmm. Um, so, aside from Bruno, um, you're you're you've got a good mix though, though, yeah. of of performers really from the Attitude Era. Yeah, Cena was kind of just out of that going into the next era, right? Yes. And and yeah, uh, the ruthless, ruthless aggression era. Yeah, right, ruthless. And then Trish, listen, she's a Hall of Famer. I mean, right. we know what we know what she's done in the ring. So, mm-hmm. I guess, but I think it shows that she knows history of wrestling. Yeah. As a historian, so if you ever, if you don't stop acting bad, I'm bringing her in. Oh, you're being story. replaced, yeah. Thomas. We already have your replacement. We got rid of your <laughs> segment. Although you did take a chop, that'll learn yeah. you to stay her to the end of the show. So because okay, you helped good. us raise 160 dollars, so we appreciate that. <laughs> By the way, are you going to FSW tonight? No, I got to work. Okay, so we'll have to figure out a way to get the money from Thomas, Tom. But I'll message him. We'll get it through Venmo or we'll something. See him Friday. So. Oh, oh, yeah. Bring it Friday. You're watching thoughts <laughs> There's some event right? called uh, UW Dub 3. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I feel like I've been on the treadmill. So, anyway, yes, UW Dub 3. When? Friday. Friday. House of Blues. What Friday? There's December 6th. Why is my mic off? This Friday. <laughs> what Friday? December 9th. What time? 7 30. <laughs> Meet and greet? <laughs> At 5 30. <laughs> Okay, and by the way, there's still a way you can upgrade your seating if you share all the social media stuff. Um, you can actually go to the uwwevents.com and there's that little flash page that comes right up. You fill in your name, where you've shared the post. You are automatically entered into a drawing to have your seats upgraded. And there's also a toy drive going on for Kids Uplifting Kids. Bring a new uh, unopened package uh, to the toy drive. You also will be entered into an opportunity for an upgrade in your seat. The winner for that will be announced before the first match. Meet and greet, 5 to 6.30. By the way, I was informed uh, last week, I too will be out there at the meet and greet. They must have a seat for the custodian or you something. You paying people $5 <laughs> to I, I, meet I, you? Pay, uh, Chief is going to come over and help me with that. I'm paying everybody. <laughs> Are you so. on the poster? Uh, what's that? Are you on the poster? Uh, no, I'm not, by the way. As, a, as commentary, listen. Our so, podcast is, though. Yeah, you know, our podcast uh-huh. is. Though, that is true. We are, we are on there uh, as, as part of the promotion. Listen, we've been part of uh, UW family for really from the beginning when we met uh, Jennifer back in there. There it is right there. Go back down. Go back down. Go back down. There you go. There's our, there we are. So we're there. Um, it's all good, though. We it's all good. It. We're gonna have some, <laughs> <laughs> We made it to we somebody made else's it. website. We made it. Yay. That's right. We made it to somebody else's website in spite of Thomas Burnett. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right. We're going to step aside for our break of the hour. We still got a lot to talk about. We got birthdays. Want to talk about Project 150. We're doing a fundraiser for them as well. Oh, we got a lot to do in 40 minutes. You're watching TCA. We'll be right back. This is the story of one man's incredible journey from 350 to 200 pound weight loss and his mission to help and inspire others. Aaron Phillips. People are praising Aaron's new book with five star reviews. Aaron's various humorous and wildly entertaining stories portray his rise as a sports announcer, his encounters with exotic and irregular entertainers on the Las Vegas Strip through his long running Vegas Unwrapped radio show and his contagious and positive style of pursuing success. Call now or visit our website or Amazon now to get your copy of Let My Voice Speak to You, stories from a Hall of Fame radio personality. Order now. This is John. I just, I, just, I just wanted to send you a congratulations on your podcast. Thoughts count anywhere. Because indeed they do. Thoughts are important. I mean, what would they, we do without them? And how can they not count anywhere? I just, is there a place that thoughts don't count? 
I can't think of one. Well, I just wanted to say thank you very much. Congratulations and good luck on the podcast. Thoughts count anywhere because they do. Hey guys, it's Tessa Blanchard and Ozzy, and you're watching Thoughts Count Anywhere. Live Vegas Studio, a unique multi-camera social media virtual content creator's paradise. We offer high-end services using live streaming and film production for your personal or corporate, commercial or event, and campaign needs. Pre-record or live stream to your audience on multiple social media platforms simultaneously. Fun and interactive with social media comments, phone lines, live remotes, audio foley sounds, and Snapchat filters. Be creative, get recognized, and make money. We help you by providing an all-in-house production team. Visit our website at golive.vegas. All right, welcome back. Thoughts count anywhere. 702-329-6947. Joining us in studio, she is part of the triple threat match next Friday night. This Sal's Friday? Blair. Well, I, to me, the week's not over because Monday, to me, starts weeks. But okay, less than a week. There's not yesterday. another Friday between... Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I've never told Six. you that. I've never told you, but I am right. <laughs> Six days away. Thank you. About time you got something right, Mr. Agent. <laughs> By the way, on the poster... I just want to share some of the names that we have going on right now. Um, yeah, Tom, that's fine. Um, Santana Garrett, Lady Tapa, Miranda Alizé. Thank you. Sean <laughs> Christy James, Katie Forbes, Jenny Santana, Renee Michelle, Zeta Zhang, Maz. Why are you dropping my mic? All right, so I'll back off. Zeta Zhang, Maserati, Alex Gracia, uh, Micah Madrid, Christina Von Erie, Sledge. Gemma Jones, Jordan Blue, Erica Torres, Janae Kai, uh, Renegade Twins, Alice Blair. Oh, you're already on the poster. Yeah. There you go. Sandra Moon, Diamante, Lilith Grimm, Big Swole, Viva Van, Milo McDaddy, Rochelle Riveter, Johnny Robbie, Charlie Haas, even guys like Rick Upchurch, former wide receiver of the Denver Broncos. He's on the poster. And hopefully Friday, which we should do pretty well to get it, right? Kevin Sullivan, we're yeah. going to add to it as well as Tessa Blanchard. So folks, I didn't drive him around. He'll sign whatever he wants for me. Oh, you're <laughs> driving him? No, I had to drive him around oh, the last oh. one. Scott did a signing for him. Gotcha, gotcha. So that's what's on the poster. We want to thank them. Real quickly, Mr. Producer, if you could pop up if you still have the flyer for Project 150 that I talked about. Real quickly, uh, the CrossFit gym that I work out, which is represented on my hat, CrossFit Raw Appeal, we're doing a donation drive for Project 150, which is an organization that benefits homeless, uh, underappreciated, and... and Kid, uh, high school students that are just in need. Um, they're doing the drive on Saturday, December 10th, next week. Um, you can drop stuff off there on the flyer. Also, I have it reposted on my personal Facebook page. Everything that they need, they need regular size uh, hygiene products, non-perishable foods, new clothing, uh, and of course, school supplies. Never ever go out of style. Um, the gym is located up on Craig and Tanea, just off the 95, up in the northwest, near in Albertsons, ironically. Mm -hmm. uh, however, if you don't live in the area, but you have stuff you'd like to donate, just reach out to me on Facebook. I'll be happy to make arrangements to get it picked up and delivered for you. Um, I want to thank the custodian at my school. She donated some stuff. Uh, 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 Dana from uh, Today Wellness, who you guys may or may not remember from the expo that I did a couple of weeks ago. Uh, she was actually on Roundtable, but I, we made the connection. Uh, she donated some school products. So if you have anything with that, please drop it off at the CrossFit Raw Appeal or reach out to me. We'll make arrangements to get it delivered on your behalf. Okay. Uh, let's get back to the run sheet because we, we got so much to still do here, guys. Um, let's see. WWE no longer giving bonuses to talent under Triple H's control. That's kind of crazy. It's been like, it seems like Triple H is on the up and up as far as like, Doing everything better than Vince. I wonder how the talent feels about not getting bonuses for anything. Whatever else. they were getting bonuses for. Yeah. I don't even know what for, but That's more money so is more but, money. Yeah. More money's better. Yeah. Mo right. money. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Mo money is certainly better. Um, what's your thoughts on the change of WWE from Vince to Triple H? Um, I've seen like a little bit here and there. I see mostly that he's bringing it back like lots of people mm -hmm. so maybe that's why like the money he couldn't really create bonuses or whatnot but i'm yeah. not really sure that's a good point tegan knox made a return last yeah, night last after night. a year off mm -hmm. from, due to injury and then um candace larray like a few weeks back mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and she's hurt already isn't she I, did i read that she, she's hurt well, she she came back. Back. this is back already oh mm -hmm. she's back from that yeah okay if you pay attention if, to raw you would know if my historian would keep <laughs> me in check <laughs> I'm trying. Keep me informed for crying out loud. Um, There's right. more emotion in that than your tantrum. <laughs> 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 no, 
There you go. Well, Perry Bevins two weeks ago at the Buffaloes lost, and I would have had a better chance for him. Who cares? Go Niners. Yes, definitely. Go Niners tomorrow against Miami. Do you Miami, follow any yes. other sports, by the way? Are you a sports fan in general? Uh, I've been curious. I've been watching soccer recently because okay. the FIFA is on. Sure, the World you Cup know. and everything. Mexico recently got eliminated, so that's when I'm like, oh. Next. Next. Okay. <laughs> 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 just, just, just like the rest of the United States after today. That's after right. Two, did they get eliminated too? Yeah, they lost three to one. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, now I'm done. Now, now she's definitely <laughs> now done. I'm Mexico done. had me done, but now we're done. I'm <laughs> out of here. Next. Uh, Randy Orton has been advised not to ever return to the ring after his back surgery. And He'll, with that, Robert Root also underwent neck fusion surgery this week. They'll both be back. Doctors always tell them don't ever come back, and then they end up coming back. Look at Ric Flair. They told doctor told him after he broke his back in the plane crash, he'd never walk again. Mm-hmm. He came back and walked that aisle 16 times to win the world title. Soraya, Paige. Mm-hmm. See, there we go. Daniel Davey Bryan. Mm-hmm. Uh, Davy Boy Smith. Davy Boy Smith, Smith, Daniel Bryan, Edge. Uh, but there's just something about Orton's, though, that just scares me a little bit more because he's been out. They kept a lot of stuff hush-hush for yeah. a long time. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, the picture comes out about his surgery, mm-hmm. the picture with his wife. Um, just something concerns me there that seems a little off than all the other names that have been mentioned about them being able to come back. I mean, I hope it's not the end for Orton because he's as iconic. If, if you ask me today, the modern era of Mount Rushmore, there's no question he has to be on there. Oh, yeah. Orton's on that list. Right, yeah. exactly. I mean, certainly in the top ten of all time, perhaps, yeah, yeah. as a third generation. He's over Bruno San Martino, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, swing, Chief. Bada, 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 I swing, sw- bada. Chief, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. <laughs> I smell the candlestick on Friday. And then we have Robert Roode. He who can't hit below the shins. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Robert Roode, who talked was uh, not too long, a couple of weeks ago, that there was talk about him returning. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, now he has neck surgery. Did that come out of the blue? It or? did, yeah. No one, no one saw that coming. No one knew anything about him having a bad neck. I, 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 he's the one I hope does come back because ever since he came to WWE, he's not done anything near what he did prior to well, coming. Well, no, because Vince didn't know what to do with him, even though he has everything that Vince looks for in, in talent. They had some, wasn't it with him and Ziggler, wasn't it? Yeah, the yeah. Dirty Dogs. Yeah, th- I mean, they had something there. They, yeah. just, they, just, didn't, they just didn't utilize it. Now with so. Triple H in charge, he's pushing like all the NXT people like he was like in charge of. So right. you know Rude was in... Oh, yeah. He was on the verge of something. Right. right. Did you, you know, you, did you watch Rick Rude? Uh, oh, Robert Roode. Robert Roode. I saw his. Um, guy. I saw his run in NXT. Okay. I believe he was the champion. Yep. At mm-hmm. one point. Okay. So he's listen. He's a veteran. Mm-hmm. You know. Wish he got his glorious theme back. That oh, was he will. That was true. Vince will give that. Uh, yeah. Vince. That I will give that back to him. That was a, a, a great uh, great event. Reports say that there was a backstage confrontation between Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens for an unplanned spot in the match. Hmm. What was it? What was the unplanned spot? Did they ever say? Like I they couldn't were, find out, but I guess like. I think it was a slap. Kevin hit him pretty stiff and pissed him off. His yeah, ear that, was that, bleeding. Yeah, oh, I didn't sli- see that. Yeah, the slap is what Roman was pissed off about. Oh. Suck it up, Buttercup. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Like, you're the top guy in the company. I was going to say. <laughs> deal with it. Exactly. <laughs> hey, the Iron Survivor Challenge matches have been announced. The men's side, Carmelo Hayes versus J.D. J. J. McDonough versus Grayson Waller versus Joe Gacy versus a wild card entrant. This, this is just like King of the Mountain without the ladder match. Okay. It's like a Survivor Iron Man match or something. It's kind of strange what, rules, but... What are, I was just going to ask, you know Joe Gacy it, wins. do you know what the steps are for this? Because I don't. Winner gets a title shot, I believe. Is that what it is? It's yeah. like a five-man Iron Man match. Whoever has the most falls after 30 minutes wins. But you lose points if you lose. Like, if, like say... Like, you, you get a point for, like... Pinning somebody, but you lose a point when you get pinned. And then you go to the penalty box afterwards. Oh, so in the middle of a wrestling match, a hockey game breaks out? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. yeah. I don't understand. (laughs) It's a a Vince Russo concept that for some reason, Shawn Michaels just fell in love with all of a sudden. Okay. Maybe maybe that's the the dark blackout match they were talking about. Yeah. Can you imagine that one? On the ladies' side, Zoe Stark, Cora Jade, uh, Roxanne Perez, uh, Kiana James on a wild card. Somebody we don't know. Same, I guess it's the same stipulation. Oh, yeah, right? same thing, yeah. I'm Our thinking local favorite, Zoe Stark, got to win. And when is, this, uh, when is this happening? This Is this on the next, next Saturday, team? I believe, right? Oh, it's part of a pay-per-view? Yeah, next oh, I'm Saturday. I'm sorry, premium live event. Sorry. PL. Yeah, next Saturday. Mm. Okay. Interesting. I'm sure we'll talk about it next week. Let's see. What else? Um, even though he's not part of WWE, Chris Jericho missed Dynamite as he was performing with Fozzie in Australia. Good for him. 
Okay. He was a man. It's cool. It's a hell of a travel day, but Fozzie puts on a good yeah, show. Yeah, they do. Absolutely. Seen him a couple times in Vegas. Kurt Angle, who I believe is going to be a special guest next week on one of the shows because his yeah, birthday on is Smack on, right on SmackDown. And they're in Pittsburgh. And they're going to be in Pittsburgh, which is his hometown. But he said in an interview that he wants $10 million from WWE to wrestle another match. Do you think they would ever pay? And who would have to face him for that event to even make sense for 10 mil? Has anybody ever been... No one's ever been paid that kind of money for one match, have they? 10 well, million? Maybe. I hope not. We, we, I mean, <laughs> how much did Flair get for his last match? For the fifth time. He got paid by his son-in-law. It couldn't have been that much. <laughs> you don't know that? We don't... It could have been sponsors and all that. It could have been equal to a million. We don't Did know. you watch Ric Flair's match? That, that final match that was... I saw, like, videos, videos of it. it. Like, he was, like, bleeding, right? Yeah. yeah. He, he yeah. Got that was, it was scary. It was him. <laughs> what about Steamboat? Steamboat wrestled last week as part of a six-man with FTR. Yeah. yeah. Um, all accounts where I heard it went well. well um, yeah, but yeah. again, I mean... He, I, I, I just don't get it, but I do get the fact that when you're a performer and you're an entertainer, when you think you're done, but you miss the crowd, you miss the yes. rush when your music hits, yes. right? And money the talks. Ru- you know, yeah, but money talks, but stupidity makes you do things that can hurt you in the long well, run. that's what that, they do. That the money doesn't matter, you know? But anyway, what, I just listen, I'm not in that position, except for when the day comes when I'm 900 years old that I decide to stop doing this. Perhaps I might, you know, 17 years so far in the bank, but... Who knows? Someday. Your voice starts cracking at some point. I'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Just don't replace me with Thomas. Make that promise, please. Uh, but you can replace me with Alice, though. Because yeah. she'll, be, she'll oh. be a champ by then. Yes. Someone. Oh. <laughs> by you, Dub Dub Four. <laughs> there you go. Uh, let's see. Ricochet wins the SmackDown World Cup, taking on Gunther for the Intercontinental title. Some people are not happy with that. I mean, they have two different stories with Gunther right now. He's got Ricochet... And he's got Braun. So and I don't Braun, s- and Braun was out there last night at some point, yeah. wasn't he, during the match? Because yeah. the other guys were involved with Gunther. Yeah. So he, I don't know what they're doing. I mean, Gunther ain't losing the belt to Ricochet, so. Well, you know what? It would be, it would be great if he did, though. I've always liked Ricochet. He's been, like, an incredible talent, and, like, Vince wasted him for, like, three oh, yeah. years. Right. Vince wasted everybody. Payback time. <laughs> if you – if – when the – not if. When the day comes that you – are signed by, let's say, WWE, and they send you to NXT. Based on what you see happening with call-ups from NXT going to the main rosters of SmackDown and Raw, would you ever want to be promoted to, to those shows? Main roster? You know, either Raw or SmackDown with what you see happening with call Now, this is under Vince, so I kind of have to put a little disclaimer there. Right. Where, some, where the NXT call-ups have not been treated well mm-hmm. on the main roster. Uh, I think I will have some hesitation. Yeah, if it was under Vince... I f- like I would like to stay in NXT because I see what NXT does and like yeah. how it pushes its talent. But once you get that call up, it's kind of you know. It's iffy at best. Yeah, it was like a ten percent chance you were gonna make it. Now that Triple H is in charge, it's probably a little better. Oh, yeah. imagine. Especially when you see who he's bringing back, which is everybody from NXT. Mm-hmm. That was, that I was think that entire twenty twenty list is almost back except <laughs> for like two people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, let's see what else we have here, because then I want to go to one other to the next topic here, which I think would be pretty fun. Oh, Charlotte Flair was spotted <laughs> training with Alba and Zoe Stark, Alba Fire. So we were talking about before. I think Royal Rumble. Yeah, is when she comes back. Yeah, right. Number thirty. Number thirty. Mm-hmm. Or I like the idea of number one and just run the gauntlet. Yeah, do what I mean. Like that I said, yeah, like I said earlier, like do what her daddy never did. I mean that that would be pretty crazy, right? But yeah. usually, usually the major returning star. Let me look at Edge. He wasn't 30. He was like in, in the, the mail, 20s, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. John Cena coming back from that pectoral muscle in, yeah, at MSG back in the day. He, he was, was number, number 30. 30. He was right. 30. So they usually like to use those higher spots mm-hmm. for the key surprises. Charlotte Flair coming back, I don't think should be a surprise. 30 m- might be most obvious, but number one to run the gauntlet. But well, she might stay out longer to take care of her husband who just had pectoral surgery. Yeah, he did. But by the time they have it, when's Royal Rumble slated for? January, January, right? January 28. So he just had the surgery. Yeah, but that's two months from now. I mean, it's it not even two months from now. Yeah, but his his <laughs> his dependence on her two months from now should not be the same. Hopefully, as it is today. True sure. is my point. Can it be? So I mean, look at Cody for crying out loud. I mean, he's he's bulking up. He's ready to go. Huh? But all depends on what Rock does. If Rock's coming back, it ain't gonna be Cody and Roman. Unless I think Roman I think, works, I, I think there's a line though away from a gimmick match. Okay, I mean, the other night, too, that when he won, um, yep, uh, Ronda, yes, Cody Rhodes has started training again. 
when he won that uh, at not this one uh, the last defense that he had in the prior pay per view, Rock coming out at the top of the ramp and just standing there. Yeah. Is all you need to kick it off is. a rivalry. Yeah. You, he doesn't need to get physical no. in a Royal Rumble. He just needs to be a presence. He don't want to risk injury before WrestleMania exactly. by going in the Rumble. So With all those bodies flying around. I would, I would be very surprised if Rock comes in in the Men's Royal Rumble match. Oh, right? he's not coming in for that. No, but, <laughs> but I'm saying even whatever it is, just have, it, has it, have his presence there. That's really all that's needed to really start the rivalry, right. I think, right? Yeah. I think Roman's going to like win a big match. He's going to come out and be like, there's nobody left. I'm the head of the table. I provide for everybody. Yeah, Nobody's better than me. Uh, yeah. If you smell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you want and he's going to be like, who is in whose movie? That's right. That's right. <laughs> who got you this damn job in WWE? That's right. You owe me. That's right. Better recognize. <laughs> Do you guys exactly. watch Young Rock at all, the TV show? I have not. No. I watched the first season, and then I stopped because it like, didn't make any sense. Really? I actually kind of enjoy it. I'm more intrigued just to see the actors playing the parts of the wrestlers yeah. that, that he grew up with. It's a good show, but if you know like the history of wrestling, yeah. you're like, yeah, that's that didn't what happen. Yeah, yeah, that's what kills it. Well, it but it's still a good show, yeah. unless you're a but how many people, historian. Well, I was going to say, how many people watching <laughs> the show really, really know the inside details of any of these stories? To know that, oh, that wasn't right. That really didn't happen. Him. Well, that's one. <laughs> that's one. You I know, like, a couple, like the Harvey Wimpleman one where yeah. he, like, gave him the car and stuff because yeah. I heard it from Harvey Wimpleman. Right. Did you guys see The Rock bought all those sneakers at the 7-Eleven? I saw Stoke that. Room? I saw that one. I and he was buying other people's stuff that came in when he was there? Yeah. Look, he... he, he I'll, buy, I'll buy my own Snickers. Just sign my stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sign my Snickers bar. You're like, don't go anywhere. I'll be back in five minutes. That's right. All right, before we go to break... Uh, no, we did our break. Before we go to birthdays... Chief, I hope you're still listening. Aaron's got your Alzheimer's. Women's Hall of Fame inductions announced. I thought we were skipping that to, to spite him. No. I'm going to tell him it was your idea, but I want to move forward. It is my it. idea. Just to mess with you. So <laughs> I was going to mess with him so hard for this. So you want to wait? I can, we can wait till next week. No, let's wait. Fine. No, no, let's wait till next week when he sits back in the studio. Yeah, yeah let's wait. Let's All right. Wait. All right. The tribe has spoken. Uh, <laughs> we're in a democracy. You just lost <laughs> I know, two to I one. Know. I know. <laughs> Thoughts on MGF promo and his belt and turning on William Regal. This was a hot topic since Wednesday night. The do you watch AEW at all? You I do. Okay. I follow it. Did you see what happened this past Wednesday? Yes. Okay. So your thoughts on what happened, folks? Well, let, we'll let our special guest go first. Okay. I saw like some reports that William Regal is going back mm-hmm. to NXT. I heard. So they're thinking that the shot from behind mm-hmm. was a way to really write him off, mm-hmm. so we can because his contract, I think, has been reported is due up in March. I think so. Yes. So I thought it was a good way to write him off if that yeah. case is what's happening. I like the belt. The belt looks nice. Mm. Going to cost an arm and a leg if you want to buy it. But $500, $500 or almost $600 to pre-order belts I saw on their website. That's just for the take belt. The world title is like $800 Ooh. for pre-order. Yeah. So this would be like $1,000 for the special specialty belts. Probably. Retarded. Retarded to ask that kind of money oh for, yeah. for, for belts. Well, we just said, Tony, we just told Bernie that when he was there, DTI That's right. Tony, call I was big, big big so excited to turn on Dynamite this week for this whole MJF thing. And yeah. I was like, I've been waiting like six months for this first promo as champion. And it didn't deliver. That dude's wild for like half the stuff he says. I'm surprised Tony Khan like let some of this I know. go. And he's saying like, I want the high bidder to be my buddy to be Khan. Nick Khan. Oh. And, and Trips. The, and <laughs> then Trips, the game. Well, it was alluded to earlier, but uh, here's the comments that MJF put out there uh, uh, talking about Bruno. He says in, uh, about his record, I'm about to have a world title reign that's going to make that schmuck Bruno San Martino roll in his shitty little grave. As soon as I heard that, I was like, oh, my God, I hope Chief is watching this. <laughs> Your phone should have been ringing I just figured out where his reign is already. <laughs> That goddamn MJF! <laughs> <laughs> uh, if well, I ever see him in person, I'm well, going to tell him a thing or two. We'll hear, we'll hear about it next week yeah. for sure. You know he's saving that. We'll hear about it Friday for sure. Ronald says Regal has an opt-out clause in his contract. Well, that's good well, to know. The, yeah. Ruby yeah. Soho made a return, as did Tegan Knox. And I asked, we, I asked Thomas this before you got, got to the studio this morning. You can address this. One thing I noticed between both of the returns of those two ladies, what's with the ripped pants? Ruby Soho's jeans 
from just below her groin, like down past her knee, her jeans, they were cut open. You know, that, I yeah. guess that's the style look. <laughs> that's a thing. And Tegan Knox came out. Hers were cut, but not as, not as big as, as Ruby's was. She, her front was all cut up. What's with the cut off jeans like this? I just thought it was a funny similarity between both returns. If you got nice mm-hmm. legs, have at it. Yeah, <laughs> nice legs. I guess. <laughs> Don't worry, Thomas. It seems don't like don't the cut mo- your jeans. No, Thomas. I have no intention to do that now. Don't worry. <laughs> what uh, I've seen, the more holes, the more money they are. I get this. <laughs> it's like less jeans, more money. But you would think they can <laughs> afford the rest of the pants, though. That's the funny <laughs> thing. So, All right, Adam Page also returns. He started a fight with Moxley. A lot was going on. Uh, Juice Robinson officially signs with AEW. Let's see. Shane Taylor makes... I'm looking forward to him facing Small Joe next week. All right, yeah. okay. At that, the pay-per-view. That should definitely be a great match as well. Uh, AEW bringing back the Dynamite Diamond Ring Battle Royale next week. Um, What's the winner of that getting? An Andre the Giant trophy? They get, <laughs> they get MJF's Diamond Ring. Okay. And don't they get a title shot, I think? So I believe a, so, yeah. So it's a title shot match, okay? And as we mentioned earlier, Andrade has surgery for, tor- for a torn pec muscle. Have you ever wrestled in like a Royal Rumble? style match with like 20 other 10 15 other gals in the I wrestle like in the Halloween battle royal okay <laughs> that's the <laughs> that's the closest I've got it chief says just wait <laughs> um, but how many don't how many threaten me with a good time <laughs> <laughs> how many uh, entrants was, were in there uh, about 10 maybe I mean I don't know it was uh, a good amount maybe who was 20 that with? who was that with um, at FSW oh at FSW yeah the Halloween one what was your costume I assume everyone was in a costume guess Oh, AJ. Yeah. I, you know what? Now that you mention it, yeah. <laughs> now that you mention it, I remember seeing the pictures on FSW site. Yes. Okay. Got it. Yeah, guess. AJ Lee. Yay. Uh, let's see. Shy on Twitter says, at Shiloh Nura, my prediction for the WWE Women's Royal Rumble is Sasha Banks wins it. And then he tagged her. Yeah, and then he tagged her. Yep, absolutely. So Maybe she'll look at the show. <sighs> yeah. Listen, 30 slots. Are there 30 women on the WWE roster that can really make a Royal Rumble match worth seeing? Is yeah. that oh, a question? Yeah. There's can. plenty. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm just asking. Don't jump on the question of her crying out loud. We will. <laughs> I hold your future <laughs> in my hand. <laughs> You've already been replaced, Thomas. You can do whatever you want on your last day. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thoughts on Bully Ray's storyline with the boss trying to attack Bully for his actions. I thought Scott DeMori standing up for his company. You know, I thought that was pretty, pretty yeah. cool for what we saw. Um, we talked about this last week with Chief. Um, family storylines, to me, I have mixed emotions about it. Did you see on, on Impact where Bully Ray, as part of his approach to um, challenging Josh Alexander, got physical with Josh's wife by pulling her over the guardrail and holding on to her? Didn't do anything, mm-hmm. but got physical. The, the, the crashing in the houses like Orton and Triple H did years, years ago and John Cena's dad and all that stuff. To me, there's, there's a point you can go, but when you get physical like this, and then Demore again, give him credit for stepping up. Um, I'll tell you what, giving him the step up was a good, he did a good job presenting that mm-hmm. on, on the company's behalf. He was going nuts on TV. And it was like, you can get to him. You're only getting helped by Tommy Dreamer. It's <laughs> not like. <laughs> Just off him a donut. If you want to get to Bully yeah, Ray, it couldn't Tommy. be that difficult. <laughs> I, I hate to say this, but this morning on that other show that I, we, we listened to, Tommy was one of the uh, guest hosts this weekend. And actually, Ryan McKinnell brought that up, brought this up and uh, talked about Bully getting physical with Tommy. And really, Tommy just kind of shrugged it off saying, well, you know, that, that's just Bully Ray. Yeah. He didn't play it up, which I kind of thought. I mean, I know the friends are all on Busted Open and everything else. However... I was hoping they were going to play it up on Busted Open at yeah. least since they're co-hosts. Well, they, they, exactly. they kind of did on the first show after the pay-per-view. But then like after the first segment, this went back to normal, how everything is. Yeah, but talk about kayfabe. I mean, here's a good opportunity to protect all of that, right? And Billy, uh, Bully Billy, whichever name you want to remember him by, usually is a big supporter for keeping that game face on from his old school days. Yeah. So now they uh, they killed it on the last like like I said they like on the first segment they were all in on it talked about it believed in character and everything yep telling the record to shut up and you want to hear from him but then when they went to the break they came back everything was normal. <laughs> Chief just sent me a message. He's directing the show from home, by the way, <laughs> asking about UWW predictions. So we'll oh, get yeah, there, we Chief. They're they're on the run, Chief. We'll get there. But thank you for reminding me because we only have 15 <laughs> minutes, which means in order to save time for that, are you good to go with us to the top of the hour? Or do you need to take off? 
okay. You sure? Yeah. All right. I don't want to make it you know late and get out of your routine to get ready. It's okay. All right. We're gonna. St- we are now gonna switch to wishing everybody a happy birthday because it is that time. So we have enough time to make UWW. We've already made one UWW prediction for the card next Excuse week. Excuse me. The winner's sitting right Excuse here. Excuse me. No UWW. Excuse me. No Matt. I'm repeating what Chief actually said in the chat. By the way. What are you spouting about? <laughs> He's not allowed to say it. You're supposed to say it. See, so he's like, not even paying attention to you anymore, uh, so shut up. No, but we've already made one prediction, right? Yes, Our triple threat yes. winner sitting right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, I like news breaks. I like breaking news. All right, if you're celebrating a birthday today, December 3rd through next Friday, December 9th, you are celebrating with these people. Today, Wolfgang, super crazy, and I'll come back to a very special one on that one. December 4th, 4th, holy cow. Damn. Miss Tessmacher. Takahashi, Victor, Sylvester, Turkey. Turkey? Turkey. Not Turkey. No, not Turkey. Okay. December 5th. Ironically, we've been talking about Bruno all day, but one of his major opponents and students from back in the day. December 5th, Larry Zabisco's birthday. The Dynamite the Kid. Legend. The Living Legend. December 6th. Must have skipped the calendar nine months prior because ain't nobody born nope. that day. What's your birthday, by the way? August 21st. Okay, so <laughs> next year, please note that next year, <laughs> Mr. Historian. Well, yes. happy belated. December 7th, Rick Rude, Sonny, John Moxley, ACH. December 8th, Slick, Michael, Cole, Jimmy Rave, Enzo Amore. And December 9th, Stephen Dunn and the aforementioned Olympic champion, Kurt Angle. And back on today, I want to send out a very special birthday wish to my baby sister, my only sister. Therefore, she is my favorite sister, Sandy Newman, back in New Jersey. Love you, sis. Uh, many, 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 many more years of happiness and birthdays for you. So happy birthday to my sister. Okay, let's get to some. What are we going to be talking about now? You dub dub three. There you go. Bo on Thank you. Twitter says that wasn't w- for you. WWE <laughs> looked lit yesterday. All right. So, Mr. Historian, I threw my pen on the floor a few minutes ago, and I'm not going to reach down to get it. So I'm you're not going to either. No, but you're going to have to figure it. <laughs> a line popped into my head that I will not let come out of my mouth. Um, you're going to have to take notes as to our predictions. Okay. All right? And you're, other than your match, which we know who you're predicting, <laughs> are you allowed to even make predictions on matches on the card that you're, that you're at? I don't know if that's a rule or not. Is it a rule? I, I don't it's know. It's not a rule. We don't care. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, so let's get to it. Uh, let's start at the bottom and work our way up to the titles here. Zyra versus Vipress. Vipress. I've been asking him to bring her in for like three shows. <laughs> okay. Thomas? Vipers. Okay. Who would you like to see? Ooh, I'm going to say Zyra. Okay. Danta Claus on Twitter says, I would love to do a big WWE roster ranking and how those people are booked better or worse under Triple H now. People might steal this idea, but that is on me. I'm thinking out loud. Well, now millions of people have just heard your idea, courtesy of Thoughts Count Anywhere. So, but I think it's an, it's an interesting idea, though. Ben? Topic of conversation. I'll tell you what. If you put that to get... Vi- uh, Chief says Vipers. Uh, Dangerous, uh, if you put that together... Dance, Dansta, what was his name? Dansta, Dan, whatever. If you How put, do you do that rankings, though, when they weren't employed with freaking Vince McMahon, but they got their jobs back with Triple H? Well, that, there's, then that list is not as big as he thinks it is. There's only a handful <laughs> of people, right? All right, next match we're talking about. Wait, res- who's your pick? Who's my pick? Yeah. Who did you pick? Vipers. Who did you pick? Vipers. He's not even was, listening. He's, now he's doing cheap. He's yeah. on the phone at the end of the show. I'm doing Zyra. Zyra, I'll, I'll side with our winner here, <laughs> Zyra. She says so. I believe it. Rochelle Riveter versus Ashley Damboys. Damboys? Yes. Ashley. Ashley. Next. Ashley. Ashley. Rochelle. Rochelle. <laughs> I'm siding with her every time. Whatever she says, just <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble with the winner. Uh, all right, this one, she is deferring. Maserati versus Ada Zhang versus one Alice Blair. Alice. In the wise words of Paul Heyman, this is not a prediction. It's a spoiler. <laughs> Alice Blair is winning yeah. there you and go. becoming champion at UWW4. That quickly. You huh? dubbed up four. We well, dubbed up okay. four. There you go. Chief says uh, Ashley on the second match. And Chief, I'm waiting for his response. Next match. If it doesn't say Alice, he's fired. <laughs> Remember who it's you an heard? FYI, Chief. I was going to say, remember who you heard that from? <laughs> uh, who Re- Chief go with the second match? Second match, you went with Ashley. Okay. Uh, Renee Michelle versus Katie Forbes. Chief says Alice. So it's a full sweep. (laughs) Renee Michelle versus Katie Forbes. Katie. (coughs) Renee Michelle. Katie? Okay, I'll go with Katie because she said so. (laughs) 
Uh, she's That's making, good reasoning. She's yeah. making it real easy for me today. <laughs> I, hate thinking, I hate thinking this hard on predictions. You're making it very easy for me. Uh, two out of three falls. Tessa Blanchard taking on Miranda Alizé. T- uh, Chief says Renee. <coughs> Tessa. I'll, I'll go Tessa, and I really hope Tessa doesn't throw Miranda into me. <laughs> <laughs> Since I'll be at ringside, Tessa said she was going to, she was like, you're going to be at ringside? I'll throw my jacket at you. She goes, no, I'll throw Miranda at you. I was <laughs> like, whoa, chill. Well, Lady Top is already throwing her jacket at you, so uh, the, the body would be different. Miranda. Miranda? Miranda. Oh, excuse me. Who'd you guys pick? Tessa. It doesn't matter who we picked if you're picking <laughs> the other one. This exactly. Might, Chief said Tessa. This might be the only one I have to go against our champs, Choi, or winner's oh. chance. I'm going to take Tessa also. <laughs> But if, if you're right, if you want retribution on me for not following, you can put me in the headlock anytime. Just no sure. chops. <laughs> just no chops. Chop him. Nope. Uh, if you can just hit both of them with a chair, it would be delightful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> then he'd be stuck here for but two you, hours with this chief talking about Bruno. But you know what scares me? Is she quickly agreed to that stipulation. That's <laughs> the thing. That's awesome. Tag team champs, Renegade Twins versus the Vanity Twins. No matter who wins, twins are winning. A set of twins will win that match for sure, but the Renegade twins are was like definitely <laughs> going to be the first tag team champions. Yeah, his joke was funny, but it was, it, when we had Adam Page taking on Adam Cole, I think you said an Adam. And Adam win. Adam's winning for That's sure. Right. <laughs> so, uh, this is the Renegade twins. All right, Renegade. Renegade, Renegade twins. Renegade. Renegade. I agree. I think Renegade because she's they've been there enough time. I think they'll get the belts. Nevada State Championship. Christy James taking on Danny Danny B. Christy James. Christy. 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 I, I hesitated for a moment because I thought maybe I'd go the other way just for the hell of it. Chief says Renegade. Uh, last one for the U.S. Championship. Lady Tampa taking on Santana Garrett. Tampa. I, know, I know Chief's going to say yeah. so. We're oh, yeah, we're gonna, so we yeah. got two Tapas. That match is going to be wild. I think it's going to steal the and show. Lady Tampa Outside gonna, of the triple threat, by the way. Lady Tampa is going to be the... New First champion yep. for one show. Okay. Yep. <laughs> for one show. <laughs> for one show. <laughs> Spoilers, because you have to do U.S. T- wow. You're already predicting what Charles is going for. Nice. If you're going to go for it, go for it big. <laughs> <laughs> All it takes is three seconds. Yeah, it does. That's right. Uh, Chief says Danny B in that match. That's mm. a, I'm a little surprised there. Okay. Uh, and, of course, as I said, Chief took Lady Tapa. So who's your, who's your pick for that final match? Tapa. Tapa? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go Lady Tapa because she scares me. <laughs> but I love her, though. I love her, though, for sure. All right, so that's all of our picks. Uh, we're, we're looking forward to recapping that next Saturday. Uh, but look for us on social media on, on uh, Friday night because there's the meet and greets. We're going to do some live Facebook feeds, whatever, you know, whatever we can do. We're not sure if there's a pre-show, official pre-show. So uh, we'll have some fun out there during the meet and greet, chatting with the ladies and uh, getting their take literally live on the spot. So uh, be fun time for that. Okay. Uh, why don't you uh, why don't you pick a storyline or two before we get to our pop culture, Mr. Matt? All right. I want to wish condolences to the Mickey James family. She said she lost her brother and her niece in a car accident. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's terrible. terrible. It awful. Now we generally know Impact tapes in advance, right? Yeah. yeah. So the show that aired this past week it was like two weeks ago. That because that, that and. Yeah, because obviously she did not show the emotion of that loss in the ring when she wrestled Perazzo, at least for the clips I saw, and then Jordan Grace came out to challenge her. Mm-hmm. Um, I listened, to, <laughs> I listened to, to Mickey on Busted Open this past week. On Wednesday, she's the guest. And, and the segment, the little bit that I heard, obviously she wasn't talking about it. They may have talked about it at the start of her slot when she was on with them. But there just didn't sound like she was like maybe she put it past her already. I don't know, but I don't know. You you grieve for somebody. I don't know how quickly you can get back on the horse. Right. I mean that was just kind of surprising. Right. So, but yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a sad that you lose family. At any point is never a good thing. But you lose two people from your family in one incident like that. Definitely, it's hard to uh, That's adjust to. So thoughts and prayers from all of us here at Thoughts Count Anywhere. Is there anything within the wrestling world that you want to talk about, chat anything about, really? anything you want? Come see me tonight at FSW. There you go. See, she there took the hint. <laughs> she t- see that? She sees him professional. What's going on at FSW tonight? Uh, surprisingly, I'm in another triple thread tonight. Oh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and who are you wrestling? I am wrestling J-Rod and tonight. Okay, and what's up for grabs in that triple threat? 
or just that for supremacy? I get to win. That you get to win. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Um, I'm sure that uh, our historian knows the details for tonight. Gates open and stuff. Yes. Do you have that? Show starts at 6. Doors open about 5.15, 5.30. Okay. Very good. And that's at the FSW Arena, yep. correct? Correct. At the FSW Arena. There you go. So uh, Tom, uh, Tom Crawford sent me a... Uh, uh, snapshot of the card that you're on. Mm -hmm. I just didn't get a chance to send it over, so I'm glad you brought that mm -hmm. up. So, all right, guys, we have about five minutes left, so we're down to some pop culture, which I know that there's only one particular item that's on the list. However, anything else uh, that you guys want to bring up besides that one, which we've kind of hinted about throughout the show, <laughs> anyway? By the time I like got home from work and did what I was doing, I was writing this at like three o'clock in the morning, so you can imagine how. Oh yeah. That's the second topic was going to be, like, figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, screw it. I don't care what you talk about. That's why, that's why Chris Jericho is in the middle of the WWE report. Yeah. Don't judge me. <laughs> well, I'm not judging. <laughs> <laughs> that's the evidence there. So um, I'm just quickly thumbing through my... Um, well, we can talk about the Rangers giving Jacob to Grom. Oh, yeah. That five-year monster deal for a guy that. that's angry prone and past his 30s. He well, is a two-time Cy Young Award winner. His win-loss record would be a lot better if the Mets actually it, scored yeah, runs Yeah, definitely would pitch, be. Right? But the Rangers don't have much of a lineup anyway. Other than Seager and Simeon, other than that, he's going to be the same spot as he was with the Mets. His bank account's going to say different. Well, of course his bank account's going to say different, yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's funny how that happens. Yeah. Good, good friend of mine, and Nate Miller, and uh, our another good friend of mine, which you guys know from Planet Harvest Health, uh, Billy Ball, they hosted a show out of Texas, out of Arlington. Uh, and I guessed it on there a couple of times, and he was quick to post a picture yesterday, and he tagged me in the post. <laughs> and all I did was I wrote back, I said, uh, <laughs> Chief is not happy with your pop culture topic. And I congratulated my buddy Nate for, for landing Jacob DeGrom. Nice. So, but uh, this is the time of year that I like baseball because Ooh. it's the winter meetings, the trades, the signings, you know, Aaron Judge, what's going to happen and all that. Uh, it's very intriguing to me, the business end. Mm -hmm of who's moving where and who's going where and who's traded for who and all that stuff. When are meetings start tomorrow in San Diego? Yeah. That's Do right. Do you imagine right. getting a phone call of, hey, we want to sign you for eight years for $300 million? I would just take, a, I would take a phone call for 300000 I don't yeah. really care. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to be picky. So, but, yeah, I mean, it's crazy, though. It's like winning the lottery. Yeah. yeah. Right? Speaking and of we lottery. Thought, and we thought A-Rod's contract was... Crazy back in 2000. Well, the Yankees apparently stepped up to offer Judge a $37.5 million a year contract for like eight years, I think. Yeah. Uh, um, again, the Giants' name keeps coming up. The Mets' name even got thrown into the mix a little bit now. Uh, uh, and um, the Dodgers also are in talks. He's originally from San Francisco. So do you follow baseball at all? No, I did not. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> we, then we shouldn't talk it about... Uh, Chief says Judge resigns with the Yankees. God, I hope so, because if they don't, they're in a whole world of hurt next uh, next. You got to rely season. on the injury-prone John Carlos Stanton. Oh, my God. Actually, he had spurts this year where he looked okay, but then he had his normal spurts where he looked like crap. Well, so. well getting rid of the shirt will help now. That's true. He'll be able to hit the ball. He'll be able to pull the ball, no problem now. There you go. Who's your team? The Cubs. Sorry to hear. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard that my whole life. <laughs> on, on Twitter. Except for like two years. On, yeah. <laughs> on Twitter, James Farrell says, WWE need more black women wrestlers. Yeah. You also need hooked on phonics, bud. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Twitter people are freaking. Well, Twitter warriors. Need more people. Uh, give Perfect. them your handle so they can continue your conversation. At TCA702. Come on, keyboard warriors. He likes going at it with the Twitter keyboard yeah. warriors, as you can see. So, All right, we're about to wrap up here, guys. Um, this is our go-home show for next week's uh, – what are we doing next week? You dub dub 3 There you go. We've given our predictions. The beautiful Alice Blair joins us. Our prediction to win her triple threat match next week and become the first ever – that's another first, right? The yeah. first ever number one yes. contender for – a title. So we have four firsts. Five if you consider the House of Blues. Yeah. The House of Blues has never hosted a wrestling event. No. Nope. No. That's pretty firsts. epic. That is. There's a lot of deal. firsts here. So, And by the way, tickets are still available. UWWEvents.com but I can tell you they're going fast. It's going to be a packed house. It will definitely be. twenty-four fifty. I think is the lowest price. Yeah. yeah. 20, something like that. But it is a family event so you do not have to worry about that. So don't forget your toys for KUK. Register for a chance to upgrade. Bring your camera. Meet Alice during the meet and greet opportunity for sure. Thank you for coming in. 
Thank, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for spending having time me. with us. Thank you. We'll see if she ever wants to come back to see if she really enjoyed her time here. <laughs> Matt, final thoughts. Everybody have a good week. Thank you. Thank you for coming on. Win both of your triple threat matches. Yeah, this absolutely. Week. That's right. Sweep them. Yes. Thomas, Matt. hope you had a yep. great last show. <laughs> That's right. Na 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 na. Hey. Goodbye. <laughs> final Take thoughts. Take your stale beside. donuts with you too. <laughs> Bring Final your lighter thoughts. fluid to Albertson. Fine. No, do not Send do that. pictures. And then light the donuts on fire. That's yeah, let's not soften do up. Let's not do that. Final thoughts. Be safe. <laughs> what? We lost Matt yeah. for the rest of the <laughs> way out. That's great. Be safe. Don't do anything stupid at my store. Do it at anybody else's store, just not his. Yeah, not my store. Just All his. Right. Thank you again. Great having Thank you with you. us. Good luck tonight, and we know we got you covered next week. Yes, thank you. Thank you for watching Thoughts Count Anywhere. I'm Aaron Phillips. Remember, one hour, 12 o'clock, uh, Reggie Burton, Christina Alden will be back with me here on Aaron's Hour to talk about the Avery Burton Foundation that we are raising the money for. So please tune in and learn about the organization. Thank you to TRC for making this possible. Two spots were left, yes? Yeah. That's yep. it. And thank you, $160. Thank you for helping us earn more money by slapping the crap out of it. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll round it to an even 200 if you give him another one on the way out. Okay. Yes? Yeah. I'll, All right. Yeah. So give him another chop yeah. before we say goodbye. Get up there. We'll say goodbye. <laughs> and then we'll round it to an even $200 on behalf of TCA. So here we Close go. Close your eyes so I can chop you real quick. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching, everybody, on the way out. Say goodbye to Thomas's chest because this is his going away present. Are you ready? One. Hold on. Wait. Everybody has a microphone to the ground. Go. Oh. See ya.